Hi, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. Let me know that you can hear me loud and clear. I've got a wonderful, wonderful, exciting webinar. I know I always say that, but it really is exciting. Uh, it's exciting because the markets are moving all over the place, uh, which is good news because we're going to tame volatility to make ourselves a profit. Put it in the chat box that you can indeed see and hear me. I'm looking at the control center right now. It does indeed look like you can all see and hear me, which is a good uh, which is obviously a good thing. So uh, uh, let me know that you can indeed. And what I want to do is kick off with sharing the home slide. Uh, and we're going to get started. I want to know where you're from, because it's always good to have an interaction and a chat. We're also going to have, great, I can see that you can all hear me. We're going to do some polls in this uh, webinar as well, okay? Uh, uh, one of which I'm going to kick off straight away. You should be able to see the poll. If you can't, don't worry about it. But there should be three red dots. Uh, sorry, there should be three white dots and a red box around here in case you can't click on that. I want you to feel, people always ask, is this live? I think I said it uh, uh, in the in the email. Yes, it's live, Ted. Uh, Alec, hello from Oxford. I'm there regularly. Now, let's get on with it. We're talking about making profits, okay? We're not here to talk academics. We're not here to talk about moving averages and, oh, there's a nice little trend line and all that nonsense. We're here to talk profits because if you don't know that's what trading is about or traders are about, you're in the wrong place. Trading is about one thing and one thing only, and it is about making profits, okay? Uh, it's as simple as that. And, and London as the global center of all of this is very focused in the financial center. We're very focused on profitability and earnings. And so is the rest of uh, uh, corporate, the corporate world. Okay. Now, when it comes to Brexit, this was me on June the 24th, a couple of years ago, uh, when Brexit was announced. That's, uh, I was supposed to go on air, live on air on uh, 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 the BBC. That's the prime minister. Um, resigning. Uh, that's me with Sally. You might recognize her. That's our lovely makeup lady. That's my wife who came in with me at six in the morning. The PM resigned. Brexit, Brexit was profitable. This is not a webinar about should we stay in, shouldn't we stay in? Oh, the world's going to end if we're out. The world's going to end if we're in. I don't care about that. Trading is very apolitical. Trading is just about making the money. And this is what I'd said to people back then. Uh, and I based it on exactly what had happened with the referendum in Scotland on the Scottish independence movement, which is whatever moves you see beforehand. For instance, you see the pound rising because they think it's going to be a soft Brexit. Uh, uh, afterwards, as soon as you get the news, it's going to fall away the opposite direction. Trading is based on very simple, very simple rules or algorithms. Okay, we're going to learn some of these uh, rules in this webinar and we're going to see okay well how much might we make might we not make as a result of very simple rules people think you're a genius i got this message from someone and they're wrong i'm not a genius i got to tell you i am not a genius all right anybody who knows me my wife will confirm it i am not a genius i'm uh, i just copy what successful people do 20 years ago when i was at university i made it my business to meet the world's leading traders. The way I managed to meet the world's leading traders, because I thought if I'm going to trade full time, I was trained as a barrister, as a lawyer. And I thought if I'm going to meet, uh, if I'm going to trade for the rest of my life, because I wanted the freedom, the funds and the fulfillment that trading gives, I better meet the world's leading traders. And the way I did it, there's my book by the Financial Times. It's not a plug for the book. Don't buy the book. It's 20 years old and I'll give you the best bits in this webinar. And I get one pound in royalties from 25 pound sales. Uh, strategies from the world's leading traders. Uh, I said to them, if you agree to be in the book, uh, the FT will publish it, and the Financial Times did indeed publish it, and that's how I got to meet them, and then I just copied what they told me. Okay, it's as simple as that. I never invented anything. I uh, wasn't innovative. I wasn't Einstein, nothing like that. And all we're going to do, and it's the same thing with success in anything in life, copy what the best are doing, okay, and you'll get the results that they've got. It's as simple as that, and that's all I'm going to do in this webinar. I'm just going to tell you what the leading traders in the world told me. Uh, I'm going to give you the best bits from my books, my 200 columns in the Financial Times, and all the rest of it, okay? It's information. Uh, thank you, Josephine. You're very kind. <laughs> They're very kind. Um, uh, 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 it's information which I've described in my columns. I've described on my TV show on Bloomberg. So I don't want you to think, oh my God, he's letting us into a secret. Actually, you know, you, you, you get people telling you what works in success and what doesn't. All right. And all I'm doing is exactly the same in these webinars. Uh, I have an ulterior motive. I want to make brokers bankrupt because brokers have been ripping off clients like you and I want to make them bankrupt by making you profitable. So you take money off them. And the more of them we make bankrupt, the happier we are. Okay. It's as simple as that. Now, 
These are the key rules we're going to talk about in this webinar. Let's get down to business. Grab a pen and paper, please. Key rules we're going to talk about. First of all, and let me zoom in so you can see these things. We're never going to gamble around news, okay? It's not the way I trade. If you want to trade by gambling around news, feel free. I am not clever enough to work out what's going to happen with interest rates and uh, 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 current account deficits and the next Donald Trump tweet and uh, uh, budget deficits and all the rest of it, okay? I don't have a team of analysts like Goldman Sachs do, so I'm not going to try and compete with that. That's not how we're going to trade. I'd rather spend my weekends instead of reading the Financial Times or The Economist magazine, I'd rather spend it playing with my son, all right? It's as simple as that. So I'm not going to try and trade that way. I'm not going to trade in a way which I don't want to trade. In other words, I'm not going to trade in a way which takes away either my freedom, or okay, or my fulfillment, all right. I know trading is about money, funds, but if, if you get the funds by having to give away your freedom and fulfillment, forget about it. Don't do it. And I'm here to tell you that the only way we're going to trade is the way which is going to be satisfying, which means we continue to have our freedom. And it's something we as private investors without a macro, with a, without a, a master's degree in economics, which I have. OK, we can do without that. We can do without that. All right. So we're not going to be screen slaves. We're going to be able to start small. Why? Because I'm talking to private investors. There's no point in me saying to you, hey, guys, once you've got 10 million pounds, then we'll talk. What's the point? You're private investors. So we're going to start small. OK, and then we're going to scale up. We're going to learn the skills first to be successful. And that's what this webinar is about. It's about learning the skills. All right. And knowing whether or not you're going to ever learn the skills. And I'm hopefully you are. And I'm going to teach you them. Right. Learn the skills. And then we scale up. All right. And it's the most wonderful business in the world, because in a 90 minute webinar, you'll get an idea of the skills and you can then decide, yeah, this is for me. This isn't. Uh, but even better, you can start practicing. It's an entrepreneurial venture is trading. It's like, you know, instead of buying a franchise or another business on the side, selling stuff on Amazon or eBay or something, trading is it. There's no office costs. There's no staff costs. There's no inventory costs. It's great. Right. And you can start tiny because you can start with a zero account. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Able to start small, then we're going to scale up. That's going to be our principles, our rules. We're not going to try to be right all the time. Anybody who tells you, oh, I'm right 93% of the time, they're lying. And proof of that is that the best traders in the world, as I'm going to show you, the richest, the billionaires, all the rest of it, they're right about 50-50, sometimes 60-40. But the thing is, when they're right, they make more money than they lose when they're wrong. So I'm going to show you a few tactics which are suitable to private investors. There's no point in me talking to you about techniques and tactics which are suitable to uh, only professional hedge fund managers because, you know, that would be irrelevant to you. So we're going to talk about tactics from the hedge fund industry, from professional trading, which is relevant to you people. OK, when I say you, I mean me as well. OK, because I uh, uh, as a private investor set up my hedge fund just 13 years ago, asset management company regulate that here in London. Uh, uh, so I'm one of you. I'm a private investor turned professional. That's all. OK, I wasn't uh, born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I didn't come from privilege. So. Uh, when I say you, I mean us, okay? There's no single secret to trading. People think, oh, you got a strategy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you got a strategy. That must be the holy grail, the secret. No, it's not. Okay. <clears throat> if you want strategies, go to Oxford, where uh, our friend Alec is, all right? And when you go there, what you'll find is in the science department or the maths department, there'll be lots of people who will give you lots of trading strategies. The real secret is how do you raise capital? That's a separate webinar, separate issue, okay? There's no single secret. There's just tactics for best practice, as you would expect, like in any skill in life, whether it's driving or anything else, okay? And trading is just the same. We're going to set a small achievable goal. Example, $500 a month, and then we'll scale up and get bigger later. Why $500 a month? Small steps are achievable. We'll get more successful uh, uh, by having the confidence to move forward, by setting our goals small so we don't risk too much capital. Some months we might make more. We save that for the months in which we make nothing, okay? And also use only regulated fund managers to ever mentor or teach you. All these Muppets who charge you thousands, okay, whether they're from brokers or whether they're standalone, in order to teach you trading. Listen, if there were any good, they'd be running an asset management company because it's far more bloody lucrative, all right? Simple as that. Checklist, close the doors, make sure it's quiet, make sure there's no TV on, focus on this webinar, treat it like a one-to-one -one university lecture or, or a tutorial at school with me. Ask me any questions you want, I'll answer them in the Q&A or during this. Like, uh, 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 is this broker trustworthy? Is this tutor trustworthy? Um, should I do this? Should I do that? You can ask me anything you want. I will stay until tomorrow morning if I need to, to answer every single question. 
Uh, make sure no one in your house is using broadband except you. If your kids are downloading Netflix movies, this webinar is going to go fuzzy and it's going to break. Get some water. Get a notepad at the top. Write down making money because in three months when you look back at the notepad, if it says Alpesh webinar, you'll fall asleep. So it's got to say something interesting. And as David Kite, one of my mentors, Google his name. He was in my book, Mind of a Trader. One of my mentors taught me all of this. We're here to make money. It's what he said and it's what I realize, I mean, in any other field, it's crass, it's awful. If you're a socialist, I apologize, but that's why we're here. You can earn it and then give it away to charity. I hope you do. All right, my company, that's that, Profinium, we're authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. First of all, things that make me mad and cost you money, right? Before any of you ask, can I just say, don't ever do binary trading. Binary trading is the casinofication of trading. What they've done is some clever people have taken gaming technology and they've tried to simplify and said, oh, you go up or you go down. That's binary. Okay. Looks attractive, looks simple. In a casino, when you've done binary trading, basically pull that bloody handle down. How many times have you ever won? Never. All right. Don't do binary trading. There is room for an honest broker in binary trading. I've just never met them. Okay. They're all desperate to rip you off. All right. It's as simple as that. The next day, and by the way, if ever you want to get ripped off, go on to Google, click in binary trading, and then when it tells you to enter your details for whichever broker, put your phone number and you'll start getting flooded with calls from ripoff artists. If you've got a worst enemy, put their details in. I didn't say that. Okay, bad teachers. This pisses me off and they cost you money. They're so good, they don't run a fund. I've already said that. Bad education. We're going to avoid bad education. Right, bad education where somebody tells you, oh, watch these screens all day long. Go on. There's people selling where you can watch them apparently trading all day in some kind of trading room and you're like oh now the moving average has moved <laughs> you know that's what they're selling can you imagine we're not going to trade like that that's going to make you crazy it's not suitable to you you got a life to lead you got better things to do even better things than watching me on a webinar at this time but still okay bad education is also when they teach you the old way now i've been in this industry for what over 20 years okay wrote my first first of 18 books on trading because i love writing okay uh, 20 odd years ago. Uh, as my publisher said, you never write a book to make money because nobody's going to become Harry Potter, right? Author, um, uh, writing trading books. You write it because you love it. You're passionate about it. You do it for the reason Michael Bloomberg wrote his autobiography. Warren Buffett wrote The Snowball because you want, you got something you want to get off your chest. Okay. And I can tell you, I've seen over that time frame, People still using the same techniques they did 20 years ago. And they try and teach you, you know, your MACDs, your stochastics, RSIs, all the rest of it. Listen, there's a place for those tools or Fibonacci, Elliott waves. The world's moved on. Bad education is when people teach you bad stuff from the old days. What we're going to focus on is six things. And it's put down as this S-E-L-M-M-A. And I want you to write this down. All right, Selma, we're going to focus on where do we put a stop loss? Where do we put an entry order? How do we know when to enter? Do we use a limit or take profit order? How do we control our mind so trading isn't stressful? Because if it's stressful, what's the bloody point of doing it? Oh, thanks, Al, because you just found us a new way to be stressed. No, okay, we need to know how much money to put into a trade so we know how much money we can make, a business plan, in other words. And when do we add to our positions? Trading is about two things. It's only ever been about two things, okay? It's about when do you buy, when do you sell? Right, you, me, and everybody else, whatever we look at, whatever screens we look at, and I'll reintroduce you to this later. Okay, this is NASDAQ, for instance, at the moment. Right, it's live. You want to look, it's trading at 76.72. All right, if you want to look it up, 76.73, Google it. Right, this is NASDAQ right now. Um, and what this is saying is that this price, you, me, everyone else in the world, pretty much gets roughly the same price. Okay, roughly. All right, some brokers might charge more, might charge less. But you're getting roughly the same price. So you're getting you, me, George Soros, all the billionaires in the world right now are looking at this and they're all looking at the same stuff at the same time. Let me tell you something really interesting, okay? Uh, 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 you, me, them, everybody have to make only two decisions. So we're all looking at the same data at the same time. We've got two decisions to make, when to buy and when to sell. When to buy and when to sell. Now, this green arrow, by the way, tells me, according to my rules, when to enter. Notice how we didn't get in at the bottom, but I'll explain those rules later. Okay, when to enter, and we went in, right? And the X arrow tells me the momentum's run out, when to get out. Okay, and you might just be able to see that red arrow there. That means we're short, live right now, on air. Okay, in case people are wondering, that's our short trade on NASDAQ. Right now, right now. So if anybody want to copy it, 
Okay, uh, I'll come to that question of timeframes I focus on later. Well, short answer, 30 minute and one hour. And I'll explain why, even if you've got a day job, they're the best timeframes because you get one trade a day on those, okay? Now, you don't have to be watching the screen because if you miss the NASDAQ one, guess what? You could be you could be watching all of these other products and you scan them and I'll explain why and how and what times and how we make sure we're only having to look at the screen for a certain amount of time to get our trades and how many trades we should get. We're not gonna try and get every single trade. My point to you is this. We need to know, my friends, okay, Selma. Selma is, given that we've gotta make two decisions, when to buy and when to sell, we need to know where do we put our stop loss? Where do we, how do we know when to enter? How do we know when to exit, especially if we're in our day job, okay? All right. How do we know when to take a profit? How much money to put into a trade? And what our business plan looks like. So although we've only got to buy and sell, there's six things we need to be a master of. We also need to know, and we will do that in this webinar, uh, uh, we need to know, okay, what product should I look at? What time frames? Should I only look at currency? Should I look at indices, DAX, FTSE? Should I look at stocks like Facebook? Should I look at cryptos like Ripple? Okay, uh, uh, what should I look at? And I'm going to show you, and, and there's a, whoops, the, here we go. There's a hell of a lot of choice. I don't know if you can see that. There's everything from US equities to European equities to currencies to uh, 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 UK stocks. Okay, so how do we pick? We can't look at all of this, and we don't want to be sitting here all day long. And by the way, all this data is live, real time, and free for life. So in case you don't know it, uh, and many brokers offer it, so we're not going to pay for anything if we don't have to, because it's all about money, remember. But we'll come back to that. My point to you is this. Everything that you see boils down to these six things and when to buy, when to sell. And that's trading right there. That's trading. You, me, all the billionaires, we're looking at the same stuff. We're deciding when to buy and when to sell. The difference between you, me, and everybody else is how much capital they've got. That's all it is. Oh, and how much skill. So the skill bit, this is what we've got to master. Now, I may have made it sound a bit simple. Let's be absolutely clear. It takes time. It took me a lifetime to get to here. The job of a mentor, job of a webinar is to shorten that time. I, didn't, I wasn't just, I didn't just rock up on a beach in the Maldives and sadly that isn't my home. My point with that picture is anybody who shows you these pictures, these exotic locations, bullshit. They take, they take a lifetime to get to that level of success, okay? My, my other point is if I can do it, Anybody can do it, all right? If I can do it, anybody can do it because I didn't use my master's degree in economics. I just copied the rules that other people taught me who were leading traders, and I'll introduce some of them to you. One of them was hedge fund manager of the year last year, uh, uh, my mentors. Watch to the end. I'm going to make sure everybody gets the list of my favorite brokers. As long as you watch to the end, if you switch off earlier, you're not getting it, I'm not doing any favors. Um, free ebooks, free infograms, all of that if you watch to the end. Like I said, trading comes down to this. When do we buy? How do we know when to enter? And you notice this. This happens. It doesn't matter what this product is. It doesn't matter at all. The point is this. There are only four types of traders in the world. Trader one is the private investor. On a trade like that, it might make 500 pounds or $500, depending on where you are in the world. I know some of you are from different parts of the world. Okay. I usually get people all the way from Australia, where it's very early, all the way to people in Vancouver, where it's very late. But most are from Europe. Now, Trader two, wealthy trader, got a bit more money. So the same trade makes 5,000 pounds. Trader number three, a professional fund, a hell of a lot more money, makes 200,000 pounds. And a, and a big bank like a Goldman's might even make a billion. I don't know. I don't care how much the big banks make. Uh, I hate it when they make money because uh, it's not me making it. So why should I care? All right. My point is this. What we care about is knowing when to buy, when to sell. And all four of us, all four types of traders, were in the same boat, same decisions. All right, and that's what I love about it. In a way, the internet has leveled the playing field, but people just don't know what the hell to do with it. They've got all this information, all this power, all this data, and they're thinking, I know I could be making money. I know I should be making money. I know people are making money, but I don't know how. I don't know what. Okay. Don't make me like don't let me make it sound easy. You've still got work to do. Okay. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. You still got to work out those six. Piece of information, Selma, stops, entries, limits, mind, money management, uh, and when to add to a winner. Okay, and that's what we're going to cover. We're also going to use data. We're going to use the information that I can give you, which is out there. My job within the hedge fund as CEO is to make sure my team, okay, there's very few of us. Uh, I'm not that big. All right, I don't want to make it sound like you know, thousands of people. There's only three of us in here at the moment, including me. All right, so there's me and two others. Uh, I want to make sure my team have data that they need. All right. One of the things that we found for private investors was this. Um, 
the the more capital you have, and this might not shouldn't come as a surprise. Uh, the winning percentage, the winning percentage, it sounds a bit complicated, percentage of profitable traders grouped by average trading equity. If your trading equity was under $1,000, the winning percentage, 21% were winning, okay? 43% were winning if they had over $10,000. Now, there's a very simple rule reason for that. The more money they had as trading equity, the capital, risk capital, more of a win. The reason is the less capital you have, the more likely your trading too large as a proportion of it, so you get wiped out. The point of this is we need to work out that if we're starting with just $1,000, and that's what I start my team with, anybody who works for me, when they join it, because it's my money, I say to them, right, trade, uh, here's $1,000. Whoa, why don't you give them a million dollars, Alpish? Why don't you give them $10,000? It's my bloody money they're risking, no way. They can learn the same skills from $1,000 as they can, pretty much the same skills, from a larger amount. The main thing they can't learn from a larger amount is uh, what it's gonna feel like when I kill them if they lose a large sum of money. Okay, with $1,000, I won't kill them. I'll let them walk with one leg, right? So we start with a small sum of money so we can learn the skills. It's like driving in a car park, all right? The point is people trade too much as a proportion of their overall capital, so they're more likely to lose. Now, I've got some good news for you. The good news is this, that's easy to remedy. We're gonna remedy it by trading a relatively small amount, even with small capital, but there's also something else which using the data is very good. This is the winning percentage and the losing percentage. We're not just gonna talk Forex in this webinar, we're gonna talk indices like the Dow, Facebook, or um, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, stocks, everything else, okay? NASDAQ, all the rest of it. For each of the major currencies that are traded, the most popular ones, this is the percentage of winning and in red, losing trades. So there's almost an exact 50-50 chance of winning or losing Australian or Japanese yen. This was data collated by a US brokerage over a period of time, over the 15 most traded currencies. So millions of trades. Now, I wrote a book which was published a couple of years ago where we collected a lot of this data because we wanted to know data to get an advantage. You know, well, should there be certain currencies we look at? And if you look at it, the one which is sort of way ahead of almost all others happens to be Euro Sterling. Uh, that's hilarious that it happens to be Euro Sterling. Um, I'll tell you why that's hilarious because um, this is uh, Euro Sterling as we're looking at it. All right, we've had a few trades in Euro Sterling. Um, obviously, it's the most important currency at the moment, given given Brexit. And let me tell you what's happened. So we had a sell signal. We had a sell. Uh, we had a long trade up here. So we had sells to go short. I'm assuming most of you know what short is. And at the moment, we've got a short trade there. Okay, that's where we are with Euro Sterling at the moment. All right, um, but anyway, that had a higher percentage of being right than others. That doesn't mean you should only trade that. One of the other ones, it's one of my favorites, is sterling New Zealand dollar, as it so happens, and also sterling US dollar, all right? Um, but anyway, that's Euro US dollar as well. I tell you what my most favorite currency pairs are, and you might all favorite things to trade, and you might wanna have a look at this, all right? Uh, uh, and by favorite, I mean things which are smoother and easier to make money on. Now, why there are smoother trends? I've got theories, but it doesn't matter. NASDAQ for one, you can see it. Uh, you know, you might say, oh, well, well, I don't think a genius to work that out. I'll bet you only be going up and up and up. Actually, we've got a short trade on NASDAQ at the moment. Like I said, we had the long trade here, which went up. But as you can see, that little arrow, let me get it down there, that red arrow there. Can you see it? Yeah, that's a short trade. All right, that's some of my favorites. The Dow. Uh, 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 but, but you can see it, which of course is highly correlated to the NASDAQ, but it's not the same thing. The Dow, uh, we're long at the moment, despite the recent pullback there. Okay, um, cable, sterling US dollar, not my top. I tell you my favorite sterling one, write it down, sterling yen, one of the easiest ones to trade. Okay, we're short on this still. Now you might say, well, what's this yellow line? That's the stop loss. Why is it up there, Alpesh? How did you calculate that? I'll come to that. And what if I'm not on the screen all the time, Alpesh? How do I find stuff like this? How can we make an efficient process? By one of my top five favorites, DAX, always a smooth little puppy when it comes to trends. I don't know, maybe it's because Germans, whoops, where are we gone? Germans uh, 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 trade it, that's why. There we go, DAX went up, 
and then we're short at the moment on air live we're short so you might ask well what's that red dotted line is that your profit target no it's not because there's two red dotted lines what are those dotted lines i'll explain what they are they're critical to trading success okay uh, and they're to do with trading um tactics longer term on the footsie not on the daily but longer term this is the uh four hour bars okay we've still got a long position in that one all right and that's been there since 12th september and we take shorter term positions as well in these things anyway oh apple i can't leave without apple i gotta i gotta show you apple all right apple's been a funny one recently there right and i'll tell you why now so we've got stocks now we want to use a strategy which will work right across the board across different products all right different products uh, uh why because the secret to success in life and in anything else is having choice all right having choice it's not to chase your tail doing every single thing that barks having choice so we like to have a lot of choice and then we like to pick one thing which is the best quality one opportunity right why what numbers when do you pick it how do you know what's the best one what if you miss the others doesn't matter if i miss the other trades i'm not here to try and do every single trade on the bloody planet 24 7. i'm here to do the right number that fit my business plan so we're going to need a business plan okay some of the other points of data that we absolutely need for instance is things like this likely to trade a profitability by hour in each currency pair wouldn't that be useful to know and what we found trading trader winning percentage and i'll share some more of this that they were more likely to be profitable all right certain hours of the day what were those hours hours of day in new york if you don't know what time it is in your time zone in new york google it say if it is eight o'clock in new york what time is it in london and so on. This doesn't mean you shouldn't trade at other times. All it means, all it means is that there were certain times when you're more likely to be profitable than us. Well, isn't that relevant statistically? We'll come back to more of these things. But what I'm saying is trading isn't just buying and selling. It's about having an information edge. The key difference between the winners and losers, the key difference is that winners, winners, all right, add to winning positions. Winners add to winning positions. That's what we found. All right. Uh, oh, actually, before I go through this, let me let me do this. The poll, will it be a hard no deal Brexit? 55% said yes. No chance in hell, 48%. I don't know what the answer is. And nobody in government knows either. All right, I can tell you that. But it's interesting. I just want to share that poll with you. Let me share uh, 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 another poll. Um, I love doing this one. Forgive me, any Trump supporters? Will Trump be impeached? Yes, sir. No, he is the Teflon Don. All right, just answer me that and then... Winners add to winning positions. What does that mean? It means when we've got some profits, we risk those profits to make more money. It's an important lesson in life as well. They exit their losses quickly. They don't hang around. They don't add to their losing positions. You might never have heard that before. I'm telling you as an insider, they don't add to their losing positions. All right? They let those profits run. How do they know to let them run? What if there's a pullback? Okay. And how much do they risk of their overall capital? Very little. Losers add to their losing positions. They exit their profits really quickly because they're so scared. Put your hands up if that's you. I've got a profit. Oh, no, I thought I was going to get more, but I, I just got out. I couldn't hold on. Oh, I've got a loss. I don't want to take the loss because I don't want to be wrong. I know. I'll add even more money to my losing trade. I'll close my profitable positions to put it into my losing positions. Is that you? Put your hand up. If you're a trader, you've gone through that. I went through it as a beginner. All right. And they risk such a large amount on each trade. So if they get even three losing trades or four losing trades, they've lost a big chunk of their capital. Now they're underwater. All right, so we're going to see how we avoid all of those issues, and I'm going to show you that. Also, what I want you to know, like I said, write these numbers down. It's all about entry quality. We're going to scan 12 to 20 products to trade. I'll tell you which ones I like the most. You can look at it on one screen, as I've shown you. You don't need multiple screens, all right? We're going to do, and I'm going to show you the business plan where we do one trade a day. You can do more if you want, but where we do one trade a day which is 20 trades a month. And I'm going to show you on a business plan that's enough. So all of those thinking they're supposed to sit at a computer all day long, just trading all of these things constantly. No, we pick one of these, which happened to show a trend and an entry when we happen to be looking at the screen. And if you're looking at 20 of these at a time, trust me, one of them in a 15 minute window a day will show a start of a trend. Well, already did with NASDAQ, didn't it? Already did. Look, live on air, we already did. And we've gone short on that one. All right. My point is, we're not trying to trade everything, we're just trying to trade one thing. And then we can scale up later if you want, you can do a million trades if you want. 
Okay, just so you know a bit about me, just as an aside, uh, oh, whilst we're located here at 84 Brook Street, this is where our offices are, our various funds are incorporated in Luxembourg. On um, uh, uh, we, Our custodian bank is Rothschilds, our auditors are Ernst & Young, and our legal advisor is Alan and Obrey. If you're ever by 84 Brook Street, uh, let me know in advance. And uh, uh, our office is up here. We've got one room. Okay, I don't want you to think I own the whole building. I wish I did. Got one room, and we rent it. I don't own it. Mayfair, for God's sake. I wish I could afford to own anything in Mayfair. Can't. All right, even hedge fund managers uh, can't afford bloody Mayfair. We're not just going to talk Forex, but one of the key reasons we are talking about Forex is because it's the most popular market in the world. $5 trillion a day traded there compared to hardly anything on New York, Tokyo. I had lunch today with head of equities at London Stock Exchange, $7.2 billion, dwarfed by Forex, of course. Uh, uh, all the other markets are. Why are we going to look at these so we get more choice? We're not just going to look at Forex. We will look at equities. We will look at all these things. So we've got a lot of choice. But we're going to, you know, human brain can only look at about 20 things to scan at a time. If you can scan thousands, that's fine as well. Okay. Uh, and that's good. That's good. I've just been told Euro Australian dollars looking good. I've not had a chance to look at it, my friend. I've not had a chance to look at it. Um, you said it's a short, which means long Australian dollar. The, only, the one thing I've got with Australian dollar, Swiss franc, uh, you're right. I mean, it's been going well for us. Australian dollar since the, uh, today. What, what do we, yeah, since today, one o'clock. Uh, nice little mover up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but we'll come back to some of those specific trades. My point is we're going to keep trading really simple. We need to know whatever the products are that our strategies can work across all of them. Why? Because we don't have a team of analysts to be specialists in one uh, in currencies and another one in stocks and another one in oil and another one in gas. And we don't want to just look at one thing because if we look at one thing, we'll hardly ever trade at bloody oil. We'll never make money. So we need to do something where everything's treated the same and that our strategies can look at prices and then decide and give us ample notice like here. You might get the green arrow here. You might be at work or whatever. You come home and you see the price is still near the entry. So you think, well, I might look at it and it moves up significantly. So we need something which gives us ample time to enter. Okay. Allows us to look at lots of products because we're not going to be stuck at a screen. If we're stuck at a screen, we could only look at one. That's fine. But because we're not stuck at a screen, we need to look at lots and we've got to choose something out of one of them. All right. Do you see how logical these rules are that we're building up and something which tells us when to buy based on what the price has done? All right, so what, what is that? Uh, 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 how do we do that? How do we do that and simplify ourselves? And then it's got to tell us not just when to buy, but more importantly, when to sell and how much money to put in. Remember the Selma rules. My most successful apprentice ever is this lady, uh, Naomi Westall. She joined my firm after uh, university, straight out of university. She worked for me and then for three years as my assistant and then went on to manage now a billion pounds of assets under management in Newton. University, Alpish Patel, Newton, billion pounds. Okay, my most successful, but I should ask her for a job. My point to you is this. There are incredible things that can happen when you can learn how to trade and invest, okay? Incredible things. However, not everybody's going to be a Naomi Westall. Also, however, brokers, you might have seen these risk warnings. Let me zoom in. Have now have to, by law, tell you how many of their clients lose money. Look at this, 72% of this particular broker, doesn't matter which broker, lose money when trading with them. And this webinar is not just about CFDs and spread bets. You can use the signals on when to buy, or the strategy on when to buy and sell using options, anything else. Doesn't matter what the futures, doesn't matter what the underlying is. What I'm saying is 72% uh, uh, of private investors lose money. 70, 30, okay, roughly 30% make money, 70 lose money. Of the ones losing money, according to this, 70% of those that lost money lost less than £100. Okay, so if you're losing, and you're more likely to lose, at least if you're losing, you're not losing lots. Okay, well, I don't want to put a positive spin on it. What If I was going to put a positive spin, is 72% lose money. That means 30% are making money. My job is to get you into 30%. Now, given all my credentials and books and professional expertise, Surely, I should be able to get you into 30%. It's a pretty big, wide goal to get you in. If it was 1%, it'd be like, I can't get you into uh, uh, 1%. You're absolutely right. Mike said it's 79% lose with FXM. It depends on the brokers. Some are 72%, some are 80%. <clears throat> What's going to happen now is because brokers have to give these figures, 
uh, I think they're going to get more competitive and they're going to say, like you said, why should I trade with FXCM when 79% lose with them? Why don't I trade with this particular broker or another or another? I'll tell you which brokers I like at the end. Um, but my point is, um, Clive, yes, I'll let you have it at the end if you've got bad internet. Um, <clears throat> so let's get on with Bre the Brexit and Trump and break it down. Stops, entries, limits, how are we going to make money from Brexit and Trump? You might have seen me in the newspapers recently in the Express. EU looks like a closed shop. Financial boss loses it on air in fiery TV interview. Okay, that's me in the Daily Express. And they're talking about, yeah, well, it's my prerogative to lose it on air. Okay. Um, uh, when I, I create a daily newsletter for my uh, followers. And what you can see here is these are just two of the top stories from yesterday. Euro short squeeze, currency test three month high, Trump v. Powell, two speeches hit the dollar. There's a lot of news out there. I don't want people reading this every day. I know I create it. I create it because for people who are interested. What I'm saying is we are not going to make money from Brexit and Trump by reading the news all the time, whether it's reading me in the Daily Express or all the news that you see in the world or, and this is UBS from yesterday. Paul Donovan and I went to university together. Uh, uh, this is what he said just yesterday. So there's a lot of news then from the banks. You've got the newspapers. Uh, you've got the banks. It's time to tighten. U.S. Federal Reserve expected to raise rates. Bang, another piece of news yesterday. U.S. President at the U.N. talking about OPEC, oil prices going to... There's so much stuff out there. We're never going to be on top of it. We are never going to be on top of it. We don't want to be on top of it. We don't want to trade that way. Okay, let's be absolutely clear. Deutsche Bank said these are 30 risks to the market in 2018. All right, this is the 30 risks. We're not going to master all of this ever. So that's not the fight we're going to have. You don't fight the big guy. All right, too difficult. We're going to find another fight, a fight that we can win. What we do is we get the big guy, Goliath, on our side, and I'll show you how, all right, because we're small players. Look at this. These are 30 risks. Do you want me to bore you to death with each one of these valuations of fundamental mismatch in U.S. equities, U.S. inflation, ECB signaling this, Mueller investigation, new government, UK Brexit, advance, Italian elections, commodity prices, housing bubble, blah de blah de blah 30 risks. 30 risks, they said. Jeez. No, that's not how we're going to trade. Deutsche Bank might want to trade like this. We're not going to do it. All right. We know, however, there's money to be made. It's not that I've said, oh, it's so difficult. There's no money to be made because we know that people are making money. So how are we doing it? All right. We know big banks will make predictions and forecasts. Maybe they've got crystal balls. This is HSBC who predict a slide to $1.10 uh, uh, on the pound on a severe Brexit outcome. This is what they think by the fourth quarter of last year. Well, they were bloody wrong with them, weren't they? Yeah, they were wrong. They were wrong. They were basically wrong, right? Their forecasts were wrong. Great. Thanks very much. We were supposed to have one spot 10. It didn't happen, did it? That's HSBC. They'll keep that quiet, won't they? My point is, screw the experts, screw the forecast, screw trying to read the news because we're gambling. We're gambling if we followed HSBC. Let's get this straight. You would have been gambling... If you followed the forecast of the experts at HSBC who were paid hundreds of thousands, if not millions, can we can we just take that in a moment? Really? We would have been gambling to follow those. So we're not going to do that. We're going to have to trade another way. All right? We're going to have to trade another way. And the way we're going to have to do it is to overcome these issues. And the big issues that people seem to have with trading, the big issues people have is this. They say the biggest reason you don't think you can make it in trading, they say they don't have enough money. Well, we're going to start small and build up. Not enough time, so we're going to have to trade for 15 minutes a day before and after work, find the one trade, and see how much money that can make us, and it'll be enough. Don't worry. And they say they don't have a good, simple strategy. We want to keep it simple, right? And the reason is this is how I was. The humble truth is banging my head because my strategy was too complicated. I was spending all my time in front of a computer and not enough with my spouse, girlfriend back then, okay? I was losing it. That's the humble truth. The humble truth, like I said, is that it takes a lifetime before you're walking around with the rules and you're recognized for your expertise. And the way to do it with trading is this. We are going to do this. We are going to try. Imagine a price is at 100 and we think it could go to 120 or equally down to 80, right? If you did 100 of those trades, 50, like a coin toss, would go up 20 and 50 would go down 20. You'd make no return. All we're going to try and do in baby steps is is put the odds slightly in our favor, 60-40, okay? So when we're right, we make a bit more than we lose when we're wrong, and that gives us a net positive return, and that's all there is. We're not going to try and be right all the time, because if you try and be right all the time, it means never selling a loser. And if it means never selling a loser, guess what happens? The loser gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and it wipes you out. So we're not going to do it that way, right? We're going to just put the odds a bit in our favor. 
And that reduces a hell of a lot of pressure on us. And that's what professional traders do that way. So how are we going to do it? Like I said, never gambling on bloody news. Never. The market might dip. Nope, we're not going to do that way. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to do. We're going to follow the trends created by other people. Whatever other people think is happening with the market, if they think oil should go to $100, we'll carry on that trend. If they think, right, by moving the price, they think the NASDAQ should fall, and I don't know why they're thinking that right now because I'm on a webinar with you, but it has fallen. Great, we're making money. Thank you very much, people. Look, you've made me some money. Okay, live on air, you've made me money because I told you when we started, we're short the NASDAQ and it keeps falling. If you don't think it's live, 76.67 is what the NASDAQ should be at, okay? These are the December 18 contracts, all right? My point is this. Whatever reason they think something should move, we don't care. We just want to get on the back of their coattails, all right? We don't care about macroeconomics. We don't care about the news. We're just riding their coattails. Now, if that sounds stupid to you, guess what? I'm going to show you two of the world's biggest hedge funds. It's exactly how they trade, and so do the vast majority of professional traders. Uh, 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 Momentum-based trading, it's all we're going to do because it's best suited to private investors. Got it? We'll come back to that one in a second, right? By the way, can I... Right at the end of the webinar, if I promise to give you great content, continue to give you great content, do I have your permission right at the end, at the end to tell you about technology my hedge fund has created? We think it's a billion dollar technology. It's the Google of trading. Can I tell you that right at the end? Okay. Uh, uh, just type yes if I can. All right. Um, then let me know. All right. Then let me know. There you go. Right. People like Bill Lipschitz, right? This is who I've learned it from. He was... The strategies that I'm talking about um, and what I'm talking about in terms of trade performance, what they've taught me, Bill Lipschitz was one of my mentors. He's the one who taught me, okay? One of 10 people who taught me. He was global head of foreign exchange at Salomon Brothers, all right? He was global head of Salomon Brothers, and Warren Buffett was his chairman, right? Uh, and he's in my book, published by the Financial Times, all right? Uh, lessons in trading strategy from the world's leading traders. Lessons in trading strategy from the world's leading traders, FT. Uh, John, the answer to your question, it's on screen there. Uh, you can find it there from the Financial Times. Hopefully you find the Financial Times credible. Lessons in trading strategy from the world's leading traders. Uh, and that's what led to the statistics that I'm going to show you in terms of how often we should be right. A coin is 50 50. You're not going to get much, you're not going to get worse than a coin. Right? We're just trying to be a little bit more in in at uh, 60 40 that's all not 93 percent correct not 80 not 70 and by the way winning streaks and losing streaks i might still be wrong 30 percent of the time if i get a losing streak and i might be right 80 percent of the time if i get a winning streak but those are streaks like in a coin toss you can have a streak of heads and by the way do a little simple experiment i want you to do a really simple experiment get a coin toss it 100 times and find the longest period of heads and the longest period of tails Okay, that'll tell you how long a winning streak you could have, a losing streak, even though you've got a 50-50 chance of winning. So people sometimes go, oh, I, I, my last 10 trades, they were right nine times out of 10. I'm right nine times out of 10. Bullshit. I'm not right nine times out of 10. I was right 50-50. It's just that I had a winning streak of tossing coins, which came up heads. Do you understand the difference? And that's what trading is. And that's the same for me. Okay, even if I have a streak where I'm only right four times out of 10, I've got to make sure I make more money when I'm right than I lose when I'm wrong. My credentials are not based on, oh, yes, I can forecast the market better than anybody else. Albeit, albeit, if you want an independent source of how good I am at forecasting the markets, well, there you go. There's there's the BBC uh, uh, talking about me, talking about the oil forecast that I got right 100%. Well, great. Yeah, genius. There we go. Oh, but you got it right about oil. It was going to go to $100. You said it in January. So did a hell of a lot of other people. I'm just riding on the coattails of others. So what? doesn't make me a bloody genius. So did a hell of a lot of other people. So did probably 50% of the market. No, 70% of the market. I rode their coattails. I'm not trying to be a smart ass and say, hey, guess what? I'm more accurate than somebody else. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm riding the coattails. I'm not doing anything uh, 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 clever. I'm just riding somebody else's I'm copycat trading. I'm copying what the big money's moving. And how do we do it? We break it down like this. Okay, great to see you, Earth G and Kate. Break it down like this, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is what all trading is about. A is about where we enter. So we're gonna talk in this webinar, the next bit about how do we know when to enter? How do we know when to get in? 
B is about where we put the stop losses, okay? So you wanna know, okay, how do we know, Alpesh, that where you're telling us to put the stop loss has any credibility or credence or whatever? Well, I'll explain it. I'll appeal to logic and I'll also appeal to 10 of the freaking world's leading traders, all right? Who I copy, uh, just copy what they do, all right? Uh, and we need to know point C. I'll explain what that is in a second. So what's point B? B is where we put our stop loss, okay? We need to know where to put a stop loss. Now, write this down. All successful traders in the world, and I've been asked by the Milan Stock Exchange to give a keynote address about what it is traders do, and I'm going to give basically this webinar in person to them on October the 25th in Milan, if you happen to be there uh, at their major expo, okay? Uh, the Milan Stock Exchange, Porto Italiana, is owned by um, London Stock Exchange Group. So that's why I had a lunch meeting today with London Stock Exchange, right? Volatility-based stop losses. In other words, the more volatile the market, the further away the stop loss. I'm going to cover this really quickly, and then we'll go over it later. Okay, the, this is a secret of all wealth making funds. And you might say, well, how do we have an independent verification of that Alpesh? All right. Volatility based stop losses. The more volatile the market, the further away the stop loss. Uh, technique used by very successful people. Why? Because what it means is if the market's more volatile, your stop loss is bespoke. And it also means you won't get stopped out by noise. What's volatility? You might measure the range in whichever time frame you're trading, whether it's 15 minute, five minute, one day, or four hour, one hour. You measure the range that is your time frame of choice, okay, that it's trading. And you might put this stop loss maybe two or three times the distance of that range so you don't get stopped out by noise because it's two or three times away okay now you might say well wait a minute uh surely on that basis what's the number what's the magic number i'll push is there a magic figure that i can independently verify is it 2.75 times the 14 day average true range it's the principle that matters a volatility based stop loss the more volatile the market further away the stop loss but then you might say, wait a minute, that means if the market's more volatile, surely the stop loss is going to be further away, and therefore I could lose more money. No, because the second secret is volatility-based position sizing. If the stop loss happens to be twice as far away, instead of 10 points, maybe 20 points away, because the market's twice as volatile, your position size will be half as much, so you don't risk losing more money. So that way, your money management rules ensure that the risk you're taking, regardless of market volatility, is always the same. You know what's ingenious about that? You might think, oh, it sounds so complicated. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Trust me, once you get used to it, you'll be doing it like this. It becomes so easy. So volatility-based stop loss, volatility-based position sizing, two secrets of making money, so we don't get stopped out by noise, right? However, however, I'll recap that again because it's a lot to take in. What I want to say is, what's point C? Point C is a mirror reflection, point C, let's do this, of the distance from A to B is the distance to A to C. That's point C. That is not a profit target. Anybody who's ever told you, oh, Alpesh, you need a profit target, risk-reward ratio. They read my book 20 years ago, and they've misapplied it. All right? It's not a profit target. Why would you put a cap on your profits? If you strike oil, you don't put a cap on it. You dig bloody deeper and drill and get more. What you do is you double down your position at point C. So does that mean you've got to sit at the computer screen waiting for it? No, because when you entered, you knew where your stop loss is because you knew how to calculate it based on volatility. So therefore, you knew where you're going to add to your position. So you tell your broker on self, the stop loss here and add to the winning position here. You double down on it. And that has its own stop loss at point A. All right? Now, if you're going to be at work, you'll make those into trailing stop losses, so you'll just exit, but you're able to ride the trend. Why are you adding to your winning positions? The reason is you can start small and add up to it. You start small, why? Because if you get a loss, you don't lose too much. Logic, okay? You don't need independent verification for that logic, do you? If you start small and the price goes against you, fine, no worries. But knowing that you're gonna add to your winning positions, taking your profits and adding to your winning positions, you're risking capital, profits in order to make more. It's better to risk profits to make more profits than to risk your initial trade capital. Those are important principles. We'll come to exact figures in a second. The other thing which is really important to know, how do we know when to enter a trade then? The way my trading developed, and it was exactly the same for Bill Lipschitz who taught me, uh, David Kite, Brian Winterford, all the ones who were in my book. All right, like I said, don't buy the book because uh, I'm giving you the best bits. And also what Winton Capital do, they had a $35 billion hedge fund. This is a slide from them. If you want to independently verify it, Winton Capital, 
All right, $35 billion hedge fund. Ask them, hey, is this one of your slides? And they'll go, yes, it is. Did that bastard Arpa steal it? Yes, he did. Uh, okay, and what they do, and this is the way we're going to trade, we don't get in at the bottom where the trend starts because nobody's got a bloody crystal ball. I certainly haven't. What we do is we wait, we buy. Once the trend has started, there'll be a bit of a lag. So what? So what? There's a bloody lag. Okay, and there's a lag, and then we saw some people go, oh, but there's a lag. You're rubbish. Yeah. If your definition of being good at trading is being able to have a crystal ball and see tops and bottoms of markets, you're right. I'm rubbish. But if your definition is you do copy what $35 billion hedge funds doing, then yeah, I'm all right. You know, all I do is copy them in this regard. Uh, another one, AHL. It's a $100 billion hedge fund. This is from their slides. Okay, how do they find when to enter? They say, well, we look at these trends and then we make the decision today. Is the price going to go long, i.e. up? Or do we go short? In other words, do we sell in the hope of buying cheaper later? Do we buy? Okay. In the hope of selling at a higher price? Or do we sell today in the, in the hope of buying cheaper later? Do we go long, L, or do we go short, S? Okay. And what they said is the basic principles, this is not their actual algorithm. It's the basic principles behind AHL's algorithm. And like I said, $100 billion of assets under management was this. They might tot up the length and duration of those trends. And they'll say, well, if it's been going up and up and up for ages, we'll go fully long. If it's been going down and down and down for ages, we'll go fully short. So that's what they'll do. They'll look at it over that time frame, over that period, okay? And they make a decision based on that. Now, notice this. That sounds simple. Oh, because that's ridiculously simple. Of course, I'm going to show you how I do it. I don't know what I don't know what their algorithms are. I know what their principles are. So I'm going to show you the rules for how I enter so you can copy the manual rules. I was like, Why are you giving the manual rules up? Trust me, just because you've got the rules doesn't mean you're going to become a multimillionaire. Go try raising capital from a pension fund uh, uh, and you'll find out, oh, well, actually, I've got an opposite strategy, but uh, okay. So that ain't going to be it. We've got 10 different algorithms we use. The simplest one is the first one, which was taught to me by Bill Lipschutz. Global Head of Foreign Exchange, and these are the principles behind it, okay? So what we found, what we found is this, that the principles that a lot of these funds use are all the same. The exact rules might differ slightly, but it's the principles that matter. So I don't know what their exact algorithm, I don't know what mine is, uh, but as long as we're all, we're all trying to do the same thing, we're all trying to get into a trend like this, okay? That's a short trend. Now, I don't know how what their algorithms were, which told them, in the case of them to go short NASDAQ right now, but I bet they are short. I know what my rules are, which were another way to try and find the trend. So do you understand it's the same principles that we use as them? The rules might be slightly different. It's like saying, okay, you got to drive on the left-hand side of the road. You don't all have to drive the same way, but you all know you got to turn the steering wheel and drive at a certain speed. So the principles of driving are the same. People just do it slightly differently, all right? And our type of trading, it's called momentum trading, which is the most suitable to private investors. That's why I want to talk to you about it, okay? We are this guy. That's us, all right? And that includes me. My... Um, Regulated hedge fund that has about 90 million euros under management, which is puny. In the last 10 years, we've only managed to raise a puny 90 million dollars. You might say, oh, but why are you telling us stuff which you should be embarrassed about? I don't mind. Okay, 90 million euros is nothing. In the next 10 years, I hope we get to a billion. You might say, well, why are you so rubbish, Alpesh? Well, because I go into meetings with pension funds and family offices after Goldman Sachs and before Merrill Lynch. Guess who they're going to give their money to? Yeah, those two. But I think 90 million is fine coming from a starting point of zero, and I don't mind mentioning it. All right, we pay 15,000 pounds a month in rent in our offices at Brook Street. People want to know. I don't mind. We don't own the building. All right, it's just the way it is. Okay, it's just the way it is. We charge a standard two and 22 institutions. If you don't know what that is, you can Google it. All right. Anyway, the point is this. We're trying to be this guy. We can't move the market like this guy in black. That's Goldman Sachs or whoever all right, who's moving the market. We're just riding the coattails. Once they've moved the market, we get on their coattails. That's all we're doing. So how do we do it? Two parts to the webinar. One is, is it worth doing? What's the business plan? Okay, how much money can we make? And secondly, how do we get in? When do we enter? So let's do that. Let me do the business plan first. Now here I've written FX because that's what we used to focus on, only FX. Actually, as you'll see from here, uh, I've spoken a lot about the NASDAQ. I mean, uh, there's the DAX as well. By the way, people, just so you know, short DAX as well. Now, that's highly correlated to NASDAQ in any event. I don't know. I'm watching this webinar, doing this webinar. So if something happened, has Trump been assassinated or something? 
because uh, this is, you know, this is falling off a bit. Of course not. It's a sell-off on tech stocks. Maybe his uh, Supreme Court nominee is not going to get in. Uh, we don't know. Okay, but the point of it is that I need to be able to trade whilst doing something else. So I need to be able to trade whilst talking to you on a webinar or speaking to a family office or whatever else or training up my new recruits into my firm because when they get good and experienced, they piss off uh, and join other companies like Newton. Uh, right, anyway, so let's go through the business plan first, okay? Oh, that's my mum, by the way. Always makes an honorable visit in my uh, webinars. So Bill Lipschitz gave me this business plan, and then we'll talk about how we know when to enter and the manual rules that I have for entering into trades, okay? Bill Lipschitz gave me the business plan, and I've tweaked it a little bit for you guys. Because first of all, we need to know, is it worth doing? He said, the first, and trading's like driving. That's why you've got me seeing me driving, okay? You've got wing mirrors, you've got rear view mirrors, you've got accelerator, brake, clutch, gearbox. It seems complicated, just like Selma. Stops, entries, limits, money management, risk management, adding to winners. In the end, people think, oh, it's too complicated. It's not. Look at how fulfilling and how much freedom you get from driving. Okay, it's the same principle. So stick with it and persevere. The first thing Bill Lipsch just said to me is we've got to, got to set our risk capital. So how are we going to do that? He said, imagine because it's a business plan. This is your business plan. This is your business. Trading is your business. You're the entrepreneur. You're the chief executive. This is the first business plan you're making. Write it down on a piece of paper. Okay, because it's about making money and it could be life altering. And if it's not, guess what? At least you knew it wasn't, right? He said, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set how much we're going to lose on any one trade. So let's assume when we're proficient, we'll lose 1% of our total capital if we lose. If we lose on a trade, that's how much we'll lose. Now, 1% is too much. It's too much. That's how much hedge funds lose on any one trade. You as a private investor should be losing less. You should be losing the amount such that if you lost it, you don't lose sleep. That's how you decide how much money to put into a trade. If I have a loss, it hits my stop loss. Will I lose sleep? Okay. Maximum loss, 1% of total capital, he said, because this is a business plan where we intend to get to. So let's say you eventually got to $20,000 or 20,000 pounds of risk capital eventually. And trust me, if you learn the skills, even with $1,000 and you get consistently profitable, you will get people to give you the money. I did. Friends and family give it first. And then you think to yourself, oh, friends and family giving it. Oh, maybe I should look at getting more. Maybe I should put more savings into this because I'm getting more money. You don't get the money first and then uh, and then take the risk. You take the risk with small sums of money. And then when you know you're consistently su successful, then you get the money. Got it? That's the obvious way to do it. It's how people do it. So let's say in your business plan, you've got total capital of 20,000 pounds. Eventually, eventually, not today. So the maximum loss per trade is obviously 200 pounds because it's 1% 1 pound, 1 of 20,000. Let's assume way too optimistic and irrelevant the win-loss ratio, so the number of times you win is 70 times out of 100, and the number of times you lose is 30 times out of 100. Assume that's your win-loss ratio. Way too optimistic. You're not going to do that. People go, oh, I was good. Could you give me independent verification that you do 70 out of 100? Uh, I don't do 70 out of 100, okay? I don't do 70 out of 100. Sometimes I do 30 out of 100. Sometimes I do 70 out of 100. Sometimes I do 80 out of 100. Depends on my winning and losing streaks. That's not the point. I'm going to show you mathematically why it's irrelevant as well. You see, you're all conditioned to ask the wrong questions, which is, how often are you right? No, it's how, how much money do you make? But bear with me for a second. Assume you win 70 out of 100. So your average loss is obviously 200 pounds. Like I said, 1% of 20,000 is 200. We're going to pick a strategy where we're adding to our winners. Remember, point C, you add to your winning trades. So we pick a strategy where we add to our winners. We make more when we win than we lose than we lose. So let's say on average, we win more, we win 300. Just assume these figures for the moment, they're over optimistic. Don't worry, we're going to decimate them. We're going to destroy them. We're going to reduce them, reduce them, reduce them. So don't worry about that. Okay, so the average win is 300 pounds. Let's say you do 100 trades for argument's sake, okay? And Bill went through this with me. Remember, Bill Lipschitz, Global Head of Foreign Exchange at Salomon Brothers, the biggest Forex trader in the world, because Salomon's were the biggest Forex trader. His boss was Warren Buffett. He's in my book. If you don't believe me and want independent verification from the FT, he is in my book. Okay, 100 trades. Let's see you do. And he, did, he went through the numbers. And I said, oh, my God, Bill, 70 of those would be winning, let's say, 300 pounds profit. That's profits of 21,000 pounds. Tell my parents I want to leave university. This is all I want to do for the rest of my life. And he said, calm down. 30 of those are losing at 200 pounds. So that's 6,000 pounds in losses. I said, yeah, but still, Bill, that's 
net profits of £15,000 per 100 trades. £15,000 per 100 trades. I told him it's more money than I've ever seen. I want to spend the rest of my life, forget being a lawyer, just tapping on a keyboard and just making profits. And magically, money goes into my bank account. Okay, and I'll sit there eating nachos in my underpants all day long, getting fat, making lots of money. And obviously, he said, don't be stupid. If it was that easy, everybody would be bloody doing it. Okay, I said, but Bill, it must be that easy. Let's do the numbers. I got so excited uh, when he and I were going through this. Okay, I said, all I've got to do is find a strategy which allows me to do, I don't know, maybe 100 trades in a day or a week, you know, or even in a month. It doesn't matter. I've got to find that strategy, Bill, and you'll give it to me, won't you? Because why wouldn't you? I said, if I'm a day trader, I can do maybe 100 trades in a week. Why would I want to do anything else? I wouldn't even go to sleep, surely. And in 50 weeks in a year, because the other two weeks, I'll be in my Lamborghini or something. I don't have a Lamborghini because I'm not a tosser. Okay, 100 trades per week. 50 weeks a year, that's 5,000 trades per annum, okay, at 15,000 pounds profit per 100 trades. I said, Bill, that's 750,000 pounds a year. Woohoo! Don't be stupid. I know what you're all thinking, and you should. Alpesh, we're not going to do 90% of that. We're not going to do three quarters of that. We're not going to do two thirds of that. We're not even going to do a half, a third, a quarter, a fifth, or even 15% of that. Let's say we did 10% of that. Let's say this business plan is stupidly over-optimistic and we did just 10% of that. Well, that's £75,000. Uh -uh. Hang on. I said our target per month is, remember at the start of the webinar, 500 to 1,000, okay, 1K per month, 1,000 per month. So... 75,000, 10% of this business plan is still over optimistic. You're too optimistic, Alpish. We're not going to do that. No, let's say you don't leave your job. Thank you very much. Please don't leave your job. Let's say instead you don't leave your job, but you do 100 trades for six months. You know what 100 trades for six months is? It's one a day, one a day. Okay, which is what I talked about, 20 a month. You can do more if you want. You don't have to do it one a day. You could do all five on a Friday. You just look at the screen for an hour on a Friday and pick five trades instead, okay? Ooh, NASDAQ's starting to pop up a bit. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens during the course of the webinar. All right. Uh, we had the FTSE earlier. Well, that's long, obviously, because it's a longer term uh, uh, trade on that. I had Apple, didn't I? Apple, 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 Apple. Where are you, Appleino? Uh, it's come up a little bit anyway. It's over there. Uh, from that position there on the 24th, three days ago. Uh, I'm a long-term holder in Apple, so I don't mind. I love Apple. All right. Uh, and I'm going to hold it for the rest of my life. 1,000 per month. So let's say we did 200 trades per annum. Well, that's £30,000 per annum. That's still almost three times more than the 1000 a month because the 1000 a month is 12000 So 30000 a month. So if we decimated, we took 10% of our business plan, we then more than halved it because we're only going to trade one trade a day. We got more reasonable. Okay, one trade a day. What more reasonable? Five a week. That's £30,000 per annum on these figures. Still way too optimistic because it's only a thousand per month. So this is a business plan which says you take a business plan. They're over, always over optimistic of business plans. We took 10% of it, we halved it, we're still too over-optimistic. So, so, we know it's a good business plan because we know we can hit our targets with massive margins of error. Good. Even if we were stupidly over-optimistic, okay? So, you should all be asking the same question I asked Bill. Hang on, Bill. If these numbers are correct, even for 30000 a month, let alone 1000 a month, how come everybody isn't rich then? That's what you should be asking me. How come everybody isn't rich? And he said there were three things. Key reasons for failure, okay, bad teachers, bad mentors, bad strategies. So let's talk strategies. Let's do the final bit of the webinar before the Q&A, which is how do we know when to enter? The strategies on the entry. Remember Selma, S-E-L-M-M-A? Okay, and remember, oh, that's my mum again, honorable visit, 100 trades per six months, 200 trades per annum, 30,000 per annum. That's not our target. That is not our target. Our target is 1K, okay, 1K, per annum, uh, sorry, per month, 1K per annum, 1K per month. Why? You can scale up later. So I said to Bill, well, what's the strategy? Give me a strategy. I need a strategy to be able to do this, okay? And he said, I'm going to give you a strategy which is suitable to a private investor. Because Alpesh, remember I was a student at the time. You're not rich. You're not going to buy Bloomberg terminals. You're not going to go out there doing any of that. So you need a strategy which a private investor, it's suitable for you. Okay, I said, okay, fine. So tell me what it is. He said, the best thing for you to do is... Use the same principles hedge funds do, but make it adjusted to you. All right, so you need free data. You need free um, 
uh, uh, prices. You don't want to pay for software and all the rest of it. Okay, so I'm just keeping an eye out on one or two trades we've got going on. Um, I know one or two of you. I've now I've not mentioned Bitcoin, and I've got a couple of messages about Bitcoin. Uh, there it is. Okay, if you're interested in Bitcoin, uh, we don't normally go long on Bitcoin because it's far cheaper to go uh, short, uh, but things seem to have turned a bit of a tide temporarily, at least anyway, at the moment. So that was the long trade on it. So Bill said to me, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to develop our entry strategy. We're going to find momentum. So how do you measure momentum? He said, find how close to the high the price closes in any given period. And I said, Bill, that sounds complicated. How am I going to do that? He says, once you've got the prices and the data, you want to look at how close the price closes to the high. I said, why? And he said, well, if it closes near the high, then it's like those TV auctions. You see, I've got 20, anybody give me 30, I've got 30, anybody give me 40, I've got 40, anybody give me 50, I've got 50. If it's closing near the high, then psychologically, there's buying pressure. If there's buying pressure, there's an increased probability, not a certainty, that the next period, the price is going to move up and the next period and the next period. Not a certainty, but an increased probability because that's because it's closing near the high in every period. Okay, right? That's called trend following. That's momentum. But I said to him, well, what am I supposed to do? Sit there with a magnifying glass. I need computers to be able to do that for me. How am I going to do it? He said, I'll show you how to do it. Okay. We're going to trend follow. Trend following hedge fund strategies are some of the best performing in the world. That's what Man AHL were doing. It's what I showed you earlier. It's what um, Winton were doing. So how are we going to do our strategy equivalent? I don't have, know their rules. We're going to just copy theirs. Okay. With our rules. So I said to Bill, you're going to have to give me rules, which I can use, which are... Uh, uh, not going to cost me lots of money and lots of technology and all the rest of it. So he said, the way we're going to do it is this. We're going to use the three same rules all funds, all successful traders use. One of them is we don't use one any one methodology. No one methodology works all the time. No one indicator works all the time, whether you look at MACD, Stochastic, RSI, whatever. They don't all work all the time. We're going to triple filter because what we want to do is get rid. We'd rather get rid of a, a, a whole load of good trades and a whole load of bad trades, then have a whole load of good trades and a whole load of bad trades. Got it? So we're going to filter. We're going to triple filter. Okay, so we're going to use multiple measures or multiple indicators of is the price closing near the high. There's multiple indicators which allow us to do that. But we're going to use it in a way that the textbooks don't. Because if the textbooks were right, then textbook authors would be rich. All right? Secondly, we're not just going to look at those trends in the time frame we're trading, whether it's a one hour or four hour. We're going to look at them in multiple time frames. We're going to make sure that the trend we're trading in the direction of the trend. Have you ever stood at the seashore and sometimes the tide comes and just tickles your toes and sometimes it knocks you over? Well, that's because if you look further out, sometimes the tide is weakened because some of it's coming in and some of it's going out. So it cancels it out. Sometimes all the tide, the one right near you and the one further out, and the one further out are all moving towards you and you get blown over. That's looking at multiple time frames and price prices move like that. They reinforce each other. So we're not, if we're looking at, for instance, uh, let's have a look. Let's say you're looking at the Dow. Let's say you're looking at the Dow. We've got a short trade on the Dow, guys. Uh, just so you know, just one second, people, on the webinar. Uh, got a short, you saw that. Thank you very much. Sorry, I just need to make sure my assistant's sure that she saw what I can see. Okay, we've got a short on the Dow there. All right. So we're out of the long. Now you might say, oh, but she didn't get out at the top. Ha ha. Well, if you want, you could have got out sooner, but we wait, we wait. We've got enough of a profit. We're not greedy and we're short the down. The point is this. We don't just look at this time frame, which happened to be the 15 minute. We'll look at the next time frame along to see, is there also downward momentum there? Is there also downward momentum there as well? Okay. Is there also downward momentum there? So multiple time frames. Why? Because that reinforces the likelihood of us being right and the move being big. So multiple indicators. I'll tell you what the indicators are in a second. Don't worry. Multiple indicators, multiple time frames, right? And how we use them. And rule number three, PC, which is what most successful funds do. I'll explain what PC is in a second. So let's just recap that. Multiple indicators like the MACD, the stochastic, the RSI, and you can see them uh, 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 here. We just have them uh, uh, plugged into our little computer system. Okay, but I'll give you the manual rules. We just automated it all. So there you go. Moving average, uh, uh, MACD, MACD2, which is the MACD in the next time frame, stochastic, stochastic2. Okay, so we can get a clear view where things are. They don't all need to be lined up south for us to get a sell signal. All right, but that tells us. Now, what that's doing, what that's doing and making life a hell of a lot easier for me because I can then trade whilst even being on a webinar is this. 
we look to see our multiple indicators, write this down, multiple indicators like the MACD stochastic, flat to rising. By flat to rising, I mean this. See how it's flat and then it's rising slightly. And all the free software that I showed you earlier, free live real-time software will show you the MACD stochastic and the RSI. Are they all three, triple filter, are they flat to rising in multiple time frames? Flat to rising multiple time frames. But there is one more thing we need to do. Okay, so flat to rising. Can you see it? PC. What's PC? These are our manual rules. PC is this, price confirmation. PC is, has the price then made a two period high? Is it the highest it's been? Or in the case of shorting, the lowest it's been in the last two periods. In other words, not just have I seen it, but using whatever other rules other people might use, have they seen the momentum and moved the price? I can't move the price. It's a $5 trillion a day market. You can't move it just because you've got the same strategy as me. Multiple indicators, multiple time frames. Multiple indicators so you're triple filtered and more likely to be right. You might miss a load of good trades. It doesn't matter because you missed a load of bad ones as well. So that's more important to do it that way. Triple filter, like filtering water. Get all the shit out of it. Okay. Multiple time frames. Why? Because you don't want a small move. You want an increased probability of a big move. Write that down. Increased probability of a bigger move. No certainties. Increased probability. All right. I'm not in the business of telling you I'm right all the time. I'm in the business of telling you I'm in the probability business of trend following, waiting for somebody else to move the market and getting on their coattails. All right. Not not trying to be outsmarting them and getting ahead of time. That's gambling. I don't gamble. I wait till afterwards. I, I wait till afterwards. And price confirmation because that then adds another layer of confirmation. And even then you're not right all the time. Based on this, hey, I should be right 100% of the time. Even then you're not right 100% percent of the time. I developed this initially when I was at university. That's me at university, red carnation, last exam. Sorry, I look a bit of a dick. Perfected my own strategy, won an award uh, using it in the Financial Times. That's me on the front cover of the FT. There you go, front cover of the FT. Uh, uh, Patel is top FTSE 100 forecast because I won a competition there, uh, which helped me raise the hedge fund. What helped me raise the profile was by winning that competition, the Financial Times. So would you like to write about how you're trading? I said, yeah, autobiographical. What an ego boost. I was only 29. Okay, so I used that. They then said, well, you're good. Um, uh, uh, can we independently verify how good you are? Let's keep a trading diary for three years. And I did. Uh, called The Diary of an Internet Trader, published every week in the Financial Times. So if you want to independently verify, go look at the Financial Times, Diary of an Internet Trader, comes and you'll see my trades. And they said, this is phenomenal. So then I set up, I got paid by Merrill Lynch, HSBC, and a bunch of others, about a million dollars in the space of 12 months, to uh, which then let me set up my hedge fund. It cost about a million dollars in legal fees and administrative fees, custodian fees, all the rest of it. That's me at my very first set of offices. I remember it like yesterday, uh, uh, fat as ever. Uh, Okay, now a lot of that's irrelevant to you. What is relevant is it was those three rules, multiple indicators, multiple time frames, price confirmation. I'll show you how you can download it if you don't want to do it manually. Don't worry, don't worry. That's what led me to go on to TV where every week, every uh, week I have to, they can independently verify how good I am because I've got to put my neck on the block and say, I think all's going to do this. I think it's going to do this. I think um, Facebook's going to do this. We've got this position. We've got that position. And you know what happens? They keep asking me back on because for 20, 20 odd years, I've been getting it predominantly correct. Not every single time, but predominantly, certainly enough that I've got a massive bloody fan base. That DAX trade, okay? You want to independently verify something? There you go. There's the DAX trade. I told you earlier we were short and it's fallen even more. On air, you don't believe me? Uh, Google it. 12412 is what DAX uh, December uh, is trading at, the December contract on the DAX. Okay. Um, you might think, oh, well, how do we know you haven't, I don't know, photoshopped all of this. Uh, there you go. All right. So you saw that earlier on, and that's your DAX trade, and it's falling off a bit of a cliff, which is always good when that happens, isn't it, my friends? Uh, that's always nice to see uh, that something happens live on air. The same, I'll show you how to download it. So what we worked out is when you're doing it manually, of course, manually, what we used to have to do, uh, and these are things you can do manually, that's the NASDAQ trade, okay? Uh, you can look for multiple indicators across multiple time frames. This software um, uh, uh, like this is ubiquitous, widely available. So you've got MACD on there. You've got RSI, multiple indicators. Uh, across multiple time frames, are they flat to uh, flat to rising or flat to falling? As the price made a two period low, we then programmed that all in into one super indicator. Okay, so it incorporated all the other indicators. So triple filtered, multiple indicators, multiple time frames, price confirmation, did it all in one go. So that obviously to make my life easier, because what we found is without an indicator, 
And this is the way the world's moving. So if you're going to trade, I suggest you don't just do it manually. If you do it manually, I'll give you a fair warning. This is what it'll be like without an indicator. You will be successful like this fat little kid here. You'll get fed. He's picking corn or whatever it is he's picking. Okay. And it's hard work, but he's all right because he's got a bit of a tubby, tummy, tubby telly. Okay. Going on. Right. If you really want to make money, you're going to have to try and automate stuff more. We're going to use computers, just like you use a word processor to trade, okay? With an indicator, you've got corn. You've got a machine, all right? You're doing better. What we also did is we then took people, we said to them, look, how do indicators help? So remember, this indicator is a, a, an amalgam of all the others, the multiple indicators, multiple time frames. OK, as you can see, I told you I love the DAX. I think it's something about the Germans. They're just so logical. The DAX is the German index, in case people don't know. So we had the short signal earlier. It's falling off a cliff. That is, that is good, yeah? Uh, 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 great, all right? Now, my point is, before we gave them this indicator, we did a before and after with people. We gave them this indicator, which is, like I said, that incorporates MACD, RSI, stochastic, multiple indicators, multiple time frames. It also, for the computer system, tells us when to double into our positions. And remember, this is a short trade, right? Double into our positions and so on. Um, so what we did is we looked at before and after because was it making their lives easier within my firm? And what we found is that after the indicator in orange and blue is blue, frosty with that indicator, confidence in the strategy increased. They had lower stress over losses. They had a business plan for long-term profits. Of course they did, because we gave them the business plan, like I showed you earlier. They had clarity of exits, clarity of entries, clarity of stop losses. Why? Well, because we give them all of that, because it's in there. We made sure that it had all the stuff that you should have, okay? Clarity of uh, uh, entry there, clarity of stop loss. Can you see the yellow line there? That's your stop loss based on volatility. It's also written here, okay? They had clarity of when to add Selma. Remember Selma? How much to add? So stops, that's here. Entries, that's here. We don't put a limit order, which is a take profit order. Okay, money management, well, that's here. It tells you how much risk you're taking if your stop loss is hit. When to add to a winning position, that's here. That's the A in Selma. Okay, all right. Josephine, I'll answer the question about uh, coffee and Brazil in a second. Right, so we... We then analyze that, and this is what we found. Now, so there you go. There's your entry rules. Remember everything I've told you. Selma, stops, entries, limits, money management, trading cycle, um, tr uh, mind management. Have an automated system if you can, you know, to give you signals. Don't By automate, I don't mean it places the trades for you. I mean it gives you the signals. You then trade through whichever broker you want. Remember, as a recap, to scan through everything. Now, if you want to download this, I'll show you how to download it. Like I said, if I give you great content and I, in the last 10 minutes, i.e. now, tell you the technology we invented to take all this best practice, all the best practice from the world's leading traders published in my FT book, there you go, all the best practice, we then said, listen, why don't we take this technology, spin it out of the hedge fund? Because you know what the billion dollar companies are? They're technology companies like Amazon and Google. And we thought Google is an algorithm which searches uh, the internet for information. Well, this is Google because this searches the um, the markets for information. Look at this. It's searching them for is the price moving lower or higher? All it is, this is the Google of trading. And we said, well, Google's a trillion dollar company. Can this be a trillion dollar technology? Well, if I'm wrong, it might only be a billion dollar technology, but it's got all the best practice in. How do I know it's got the best practice? Independently verified because it was in there from the world's leading traders, just copied what they said. So what we did is we took that out from the hedge fund uh, and I called it Project Predator. I said to my team, Create me this super indicator, which incorporates all the other indicators, triple filters. So it tells me in simple language, buy when the price goes above the horizontal line, because that confirms this price momentum and the odds of a profitable move have increased. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, and what we've done is we've taken about 600 have gone through the approach, 600 to date. Okay, because I take them in batches of 25 because I do the mentoring. I take them in batches of 25, so 600 have gone through it. I want to get 1,000 through it. When 1,000 go through it, oh, and I should say, uh, uh, there's a lot more statistics. Batches of 25, if I ever get um, uh, uh, more than three emails in a day, I don't take on new new apprentices. So I might actively at any given time have about 50 to 60 who are actively uh, asking me questions or whatever else. But if when people are profitable, they don't bother you. So it's as simple as that. So I say to them, you can have me lifetime teaching you. Uh, you don't pay me anything every day, every week or every month. And so far, I've got 600 go through uh, the program.
okay, on that. Now, uh, some of them give up because they say about 10% give up within 30 days. They say, listen, I'm too busy, I'm ill, this, that, or the other. But everybody else, they can communicate with me anytime. Sometimes I get people saying, hey, I moved countries, I'm back. And I say, hey, let's kick off again. It's fine. All right, it's really up to them. Let me tell you what the most... So I told them, I said, you know, I want to know this and the arrows to alert uh, so we know easily when to buy and sell. Now, you can, if you want, have it as a push notification on your phone, but I don't recommend that. What I recommend is you scan the markets 15 minutes a day uh, uh, and you pick one trade to do, okay? As simple as that. As simple as that, okay? Instead, that's what I recommend uh, uh, people do instead of trying to... Uh, uh, just watch every trade or over trade because you'll do low quality trades if you over trade. How much money does it make? Good question, right? We found that the most lucrative time frame, this is probably the most important. I'll show you how to download it in a second, Jonathan. Uh, Lucy, Michael, don't worry. I've seen your messages. The one hour time frame we found was the most lucrative. And I'll tell you why. And this is a really important lesson. If you learn nothing else from this webinar, please look at this figure. Okay, the number of trades we were getting on a on a one hour bar were about 25. We were actually placing. I don't mean the 4 4 a.m. signals, which everybody's asleep. Nobody's trading those. The actual ones we traded, okay, was 25 trades in a month. Now, some months, like Brexit or when Trump became president, there might be 40 trades in a month because there were just more trades, more signals. Some months, like August, okay, there might only be 16 in a month. That doesn't matter. What matters is the net pips captured, which is this figure, 2,250 on average, okay, in a given month. Now, again, massive variance. Some months, that might be as high as 4,000 pips, like when Trump became president, in a particular month. Other months, that might be as low as zero. Oh, oh what? Aren't you supposed to be right all the time and only making money and it's just flowing out of your bum all the time? No. Okay, there's a massive variance. The months in which you make more, you keep for the months in which you make less, okay? That's the only way to iron out any kind of income in trading is when you get more, you 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 save it for the months in which you make less, okay? So 2,250, albeit with a wide variance, was the, for those who want to know, was um, the arithmetic mean. It's actually quite similar to the median as well, uh, okay? We didn't work out the mode, uh, but only the median. Net pips captured in a month. The best winning streak was 70 out of 100, winning trades. The worst winning streak, pay attention, was 30 out of 100. Doesn't matter because the figure that matters is what was the net pips captured? How many profitable minus losing trades? Okay, now imagine your total loss for any one trade is 50 points, okay? On average, typically. If you were trading two pounds, bear with me for a minute, two pounds or two, two pounds or two dollars, okay, per, per point, then you could lose $100 or 100 pounds in a trade. That's too much. That's way too much. But bear with me a second. Two times 2,250 is 4,500 pounds. Okay, two, two times 2,250 net pips captured. Well, wait a minute. 4,500 in a month is 10 times more than the target I said we were aiming for. We we're aiming for 500 a month. Remember, 500 a month, 500 a month, 10% of that. The beauty of that is that meant people shouldn't and didn't need to trade two pounds or two two dollars a point. And this is not about spread betting or safeties. Everything in trading can be uh, converted into pounds per point or dollars per point. They could do ten percent of that, or twenty pence, or twenty dollars, twenty cents. And there are brokers which allow you to do that. Okay, twenty pence or twenty cents to get to our five hundred a month. That's when we knew we had the Google of trading because we had something which you could start small enough. In fact, you should always start with a demo account until you're consistently profitable. But it meant you could start with 20 pence or 20 cents a point and still hit your 500 a month target. Okay, some months you make more, some months you make nothing uh, because that's the nature of trading. But you're trying to get to that average of 500 a month. That's how it works. So I then said to people, what more do you want? And they said, well, we don't want to pay anything every day, every week, every month. If you're so good, Mr. Patel, we want to be in there for life. Because what if I want to be in your program uh, uh, three years from now, because I'm going to be busy for the next three years. I said, fine, you've got me for life. You're all in it for life, okay? Because I think you're going to be profitable, so I can afford to say to you, you I will mentor you for life, and you don't have to pay every, anything every day, every week, every month, because I'm confident you're going to be profitable. The only way to prove that I'm, my confidence is to say to you, you've got me for life. You've got access to me for life. It's as simple as that, okay? So I said to me, what more do you want? If we get this technology 
which we're going to float next year. We want to float it next year on NASDAQ. Okay, it's also why I had the meeting with the London Stock Exchange today. Okay, then, and because we'll, technology companies become billion dollar companies, we've got a hedge fund. Why would we not float out something uh, which is going to become what we think is going to be worth a, a, a fortune? Okay, because it's the Google of trading. All right, but unlike Google, it actually helps people make money. So they said, well, we want a hedge fund manager. We're not going to get some technology off some dimwit who we've never met. Okay, we want somebody who's a professionally trained communicator because we don't just want you to give us the technology. We actually want you to give us videos to go with it, updates, your daily trades, daily trades, okay, every day. We want you to give us uh, uh, your monthly newsletters. We want you to give us video training. We want to, uh, So we want somebody who's not going to send us sleep. So I, I'm a barrister who... Uh, or professionally trained as a TV presented by Bloomberg Television, which is the most respected name in finance. And they paid me for my weekly shows. They said, I want somebody who's paid by Bloomberg, not just, oh, I appeared once on TV. Three years, my own show on Bloomberg. So paid by Bloomberg, paid by Financial Times to write my column. If anybody's interested, a pound a word. A pound a word is what I was paid by Financial Times. Uh, my wife finds it funny. She goes, no wonder you talk so much. Uh, paid by the paid by the word literally paid by the word okay academic research i'm a visiting fellow at corpus christi college oxford uh where behavioral finance is what i've lectured on. i give an annual lecture at st hilda's uh anybody's around in november uh let me know and has won awards as you saw the one in the financial times independently verified by the financial times independently verified that's a big phrase people like independently verified by the financial times that award that you saw for being accurate on the market not for the oh, best educator, okay? And not one of those where you get your friends to write in and go, oh, I really like Alpesh, I'll email him and nominate him. No, the Financial Times independently verified it. Okay, it was their competition that they ran. I thought, wait a minute, we're sitting on a, we're sitting on a minefield here, or gold mine, rather, here. Because guess what? We're sitting on a gold mine because nobody else has got all of these credentials. Nobody's got these credentials anywhere in the world with the technology. So just like when... Uh, 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 Steve Jobs launches Apple. It's him. When Elon Musk launches a rocket, it's him. When Bill Gates used to do it, uh, 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 CEO of Microsoft, it's him. I thought, if you're sitting on a gold mine, you should be the one fronting it. And we think it's, it's, we think it's great. We're really excited about launching the technology. Uh, I'll show you how to download it. Our business plan, business model is this. We want to get to a 1,000 apprentices in groups of 25 at a time that I mentor. The more of you that we get profitable in that period, the more case studies we have for the venture capitalist investors. The venture capitalists we're looking at, if you want to know, Google Ventures, Amazon Ventures, because they understand big data and data mining, but that's more a technical issue. Okay? The more we get who are profitable to showcase them, the higher the valuation of the company. Simple as that. So each one of you who gets profitable, as my apprentices, we've got an estimation. We've got a figure of how much value you add to the company. Okay? So simple as that. All right? Can it make money? Well, yes. And I'll show you some others. I'll show you how to download it in a second. Um, Derek, Simon, who else have we got? Who else have we got been asking me lots of questions uh, uh, over here? All right? Don't worry. Um, Johnny, uh, Liz, I'll show you how to download it. Is it easy? Yes, because you're following the signals, but you understand the psychology behind it. You get a trading manual with it. You get a 30-day course and a 12-week course. If you want to become a hedge fund manager, go do the 12-week course. I'll give you a 30-day course to give you an expertise on the markets. But you don't have to do that. You might download the indicator and start trading the uh, the DAX tonight and say, forget your courses, Alpesh. We just want to, how's that DAXy doing? I'm getting asked by people. There it is. There's your DAX. I mean, there's no better proof than that, is there? Okay. Uh, how much does it make? Well, I'll show you some more trades in a second. Does it make life easier? Yes. That's the whole point and principle of it all is actually to make life easier because we wouldn't do it if it didn't. And it's not a black box algorithm. It is. It explains to you. It's looking at multiple indicators across multiple uh, time frames. I'm trying to find where I have done with that other screen. There it is. Okay, so the DAX continues falling, which is the trade um, that we showed at the start, near the start of the webinar, during the webinar, uh, to you. Check this in the browser. I give you the same manual I give to train people in my office. Okay, we think this is a billion dollar technology. That's why we want to uh, 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 offer it to the to on an IPO and have lots of other uh, bases around the world uh, providing this. Because if you can't get a billion dollars in your hedge fund because Goldman Sachs, the bastards, uh, uh, are taking all the money, then you spin out the technology, which you, which the market can value at a billion. Either way, you're going to get valued at what you're going to get valued at. And that's what we think it's going to be worth. Uh, okay, Euro dollar five-minute bars. This is one of my apprentices. They send me their emails. I mentor them. 
if they need mentoring. Some don't. They download the indicator and they start straight away. Okay, if those who need mentoring, I mentor them. I will show you how to download it. Wait, wait, you're a dollar five minute bars, three hours, 75 pips, including additional positions, 75 times $30 per pip, $2,250. Remember, it's the additional positions as well. It's those little things which we tell you and teach you how to do. Again, you're a dollar 15 minute bars, nine hours, 73 pips, including additional positions, 73 times $30 of it, $2,190 in profit. Okay, they're not all winning trades. Any good trading system should make sure any losses are small in size, short in duration, small in size, short in duration. Because And this is because it's trend following. If the trend doesn't work out, it's going to be necessarily small in size, short in duration. Okay, I won't go through every single one of these. People often say, well, how can I independently verify your strategy? Well, I tell you what, here's good. Uh, instead of just a member of the public or an actor, Mrs. Smith from Croydon or Mr. Jones from Manchester, how about the chairman of the Chicago Board of Trade in print on the cover of a Financial Times book so you can independently verify it? Uh, gets to the heart of the matter of trading by clearly elucidating the methodologies of successful trading strategies. Let me say that again. The chairman of the world's largest exchange in print, clearly elucidating the methodologies of successful trading strategies, successful trading strategies, what I'm talking about. All right. That was one of the best ways I could find of independently verifying. I thought, why don't I get somebody who's the biggest name in the world? one of the biggest names in the world on trading, to stake his reputation on it. Not an actor like you see in these websites, okay? A real person. Not a member of the public, because a member of the public might have just got lucky, okay? That's easy enough. You know, John might have got lucky. And John will go, yeah, it's bloody brilliant, mate. I love it. I love it. But no. How about somebody whose reputation depends upon it and on a Financial Times book? Okay, there we go. NASDAQ still dropping. Sorry, NASDAQ. DAX still uh, dropping, which is good news. Good news for all of us. If you're going short, Lucy, I know you're going short because you like uh, uh, copying my trades on the live webinars. So I'll show you how I also, not just if you want to download the indicator, but people sometimes want mentoring. I create dedicated mentoring websites, a de mentoring community, so you can speak to the other people on the program and, and ask questions and, and get back and forth on, on that and see my daily trades as well. So we give you as much transparency as possible on all of this. You don't just see what I'm seeing, but you also get to communicate to the community. As the community gets bigger, I think it's going to be a more valuable uh, 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 community as well, okay? Um, so we did all of that. And then we asked people, you know, what are your problems with trading and does this remove them? But more importantly, and I need you for five more minutes, I'll give you the link to download it. I want to take people from this to this, okay, from this to this. It's as simple as that. Without an indicator, people are sort of mining one stock. They're going, oh, Vodafone, oil, gas, that's it. And they're working incredibly hard. What we're trying to do with automation is this. You're still placing the trades yourself, but you're getting the signals. Okay, on your own computers at home, we even install them for you. All right, with an indicator, this is what it's like. Makes life a hell of a lot easier. My favorite, 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 and you can speak to him if you wish, ex Barclays Bank um, uh, apprentice. Uh, and we've got a community site anyway, so you can ask people on there what they think. Love the Pitts Pro Tech, really simplified my trading as a beginner. He went on sale a lot more. He's actually become a very good friend of mine. Okay. 25 people at a time is what I'm taking on. Uh, we've got about 600 who've gone through the program. I've got at any given time about 60 to 70 who I'm actively doing. But how do you manage that? Well, guess what? They've got a training program. They don't need actually to be messaging me all the time, but they can. And I've got a cell phone. So I can message them if there's any issues. My 30-day no quibble money back guarantee, so it's risk-free, all right? But it's better than risk-free. I'm going to give everybody who does me the honor of trying this, because remember, I want more people to try this as possible. Because the more of you try it, the more of you get profitable, the more the valuation of the company goes up to the investors. Uh, what we're doing is I'm giving signed copies of my two most recent books. Two of my most recent books, so you've got £50 worth of books to keep regardless. If, if within 30 days you go, oh, but don't want it, don't want to do it again, that's fine. Keep the books. You're also going to get a, a USB with all the best videos, training, all from me, infograms, books, everything in there worth, I don't know, thousands, millions, okay, in that USB alone. One slight bad news, 25 people at a time. Why? Because I'm doing the mentoring, okay? And I don't want to be overwhelmed because I don't know if the next batch of 25 are going to need a lot of help or not, okay? It ensures high-quality mentoring because why do I want high-quality mentoring and not just shove everybody through? Very simple reason. Uh, high-quality mentoring means you're more likely to be profitable. 
which means that everybody's happy. Okay. But what does the, you don't just have to download the indicator. You can download the software and just use the indicator and the software. Equally, you can have the mentoring. It's all part and parcel in there. And I copied this from my alma mater, my old university. I thought, how do they mentor? Because they create some of the greatest people in the world. How do they mentor? Okay. Well, you've got emails, you've got videos, which I'll show you in a second. You've got a website, which is for mentoring, and it's got a dedicated uh, bite sized videos, quizzes questions, uh, infograms. I'll show you all of that in a second. There's 30 day bite size course and a 12 week course as well. The training manual that I give my new staff. Don't worry. It's very thin and slim. Uh, uh, my daily trades as well, all bespoke because you're going to fill in an online Google form, which will tell me how much experience you've got, how much expertise. If you're a total beginner, you've never traded before, or if you're more experienced and sign copies of my two most recent books, all you do. And I want only people who are excited, excited. You go there, alpishpatel.com forward slash here. Now, you've said to me, your number one trading problem for you guys, okay, uh, is how much money to put into a trade. Well, we answer that because it tells you on the indicator. How not to be a screen slave. You don't have to be a screen slave. 15 minutes a day, the process is in there. Handling emotions, telling you when to enter and exit. So you don't need to worry. Knowing when to take profits, either going to be an, a, a trailing stop loss because it's going to tell you where to put that, or the red cross, the green cross will tell you when to exit. Knowing when to enter a trade gives you that. Using stop losses, we work them out for you. And the principles are there. So you've got all of that. Okay, and the questions, you know, people are pretty evenly split actually on there. Um, you go to alpishpatel.com forward slash here. I want you to, uh, uh, I want people who are excited uh, to do that. Okay, and I'm going to show you what some of the mentoring is. When you go there, you'll be able to download the indicator straight away. You can install it. If it takes you more than 10 minutes, we'll do it for you. Okay, download it, install it. Uh, there's a manual. There's also then access to the 12 week course. They did course that you get direct access to me, my personal email, Skype, meet me at my offices too, as well. If you want, I'm seeing a couple of people tomorrow, uh, as it happens, uh, as well. Okay. In person, All right? Uh, when you go to our push Patel and now listen, the other thing is I'm a public figure, so we're not messing around. It's a no quibble money back guarantee 30 days, not seven, not 14. Okay. You got, 30 days, no quibble. You don't have to show me your trades. You don't, have to, you don't have to give me a reason why you don't want to continue with it. Entirely up to you, all right? Uh, uh, because we're going to use the profile that I have to make this technology company go global. I'm going to do an Elon Musk or a Richard Branson. I'm going to be on air saying, hey, listen, according to our algorithms, I've done it on BBC already, according to our algorithm, this is what it's showing us. This is what it's showing us. And that's the ambition with it. Why would you not use your uh, profile, your accuracy to get the message out. If you go to arpishpatel.com forward slash here, and as you sign up, let me know. I'm seeing some of the first ones coming. Matteo, uh, you are in. So is Jonti. So is uh, Rickin. You are in uh, as well. I can see that, and I'm excited that you are in. Is uh, uh, somebody just said you've got rid of the. There it is. There's the. Um, url all right to sign up when you go there yes it works uh timothy it works on mac and windows i use it on mac i always get that question okay uh it is compatible if it takes more than 10 minutes to install we'll do it for you some people aren't computer literate we'll do it for you there's no ongoing cost michelle there's absolutely no in ongoing cost there are all upgrades are free we're on version four because we always tweak things a little bit there's no ongoing costs okay uh lifetime mentoring from me because guess what People are profitable, so they don't bother me. That's how we knew we could do it. Nobody else will do that. There's no daily cost, Jonathan. There's no monthly cost. There's no weekly cost. So don't worry about that. There is a 30-day money-back guarantee. Um, we are in future, and the venture capitalists want us to do this, to get to the kind of valuations we want. They want in the future. This won't affect you. This will not affect you who are signing up today. We want to get to £2,000 a year for mentoring, £2,000 a year for the software. That's in the future for future people, not for you guys. For you guys, it's just this. You click to add to cart. You've got two choices. You've got PayPal, so you've got added security if you want it, if you're worried. Uh, one thing always to look at, whenever you're buying anything online, make sure your data is encrypted. In other words, make sure there's a green padlock. We use Monic as a uh, payment processor, which is a massive company. Okay. Uh, uh, what you do is you can use PayPal. If you want to use American Express, you go through PayPal. You don't need a PayPal account to pay through PayPal. It's one of those things. Um, Michelle, you're through. Uh, so is the Rohit, uh, so is uh, James, and so is Granville. Not Grenville, there's two people here. There's Granville, Granville. There's a famous name from uh, 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 um, 
uh, before. Okay, uh, you're through as well. I am excited. Uh, Trent, no, sorry, Trent, you're not. You're 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 not one of them. Sorry, misread that. Misread that. Ignore that. Uh, Geraldine, you are through as well. All right. Um, and you can put in whichever country you're in. If you're in the United Kingdom or the EU, I'm afraid there's VAT to pay. Okay. Uh, now, that's what you do. Uh, it's as simple as that. The mentoring site, I'm really proud of this. There's the mentoring site. Okay. Uh, what I really like about it, apprentices, those of you who are signing up, we've got 24 uh, 7 helpline and number, and we'll schedule a call with you. Okay. Uh, these are all past apprentices uh, on there. All right, but don't worry about those. You've got Pat Arbor as well. There was somebody here. Oh, this is it. I've not just put the good ones in. I've put the bad ones in as well. This guy, Razvan Anilin. After one month, of which I am up just 5%, which seems to me very few. Seriously, he asked for his money back. He was up only 5% in a month. I'll push no, no pleasing some people. Okay. Um, but, you know, we get lots of nice ones. This is what I want you to know. As well as getting my daily trades, I'm going to show you in a second and the mentoring articles. Come visit me. The offices are 84 Brook Street. Don't go to the other ones. Those are the registered offices, which is 82 St. John Street. Come to 84 Brook Street in Mayfair. I'll take you for a coffee if you're an apprentice to um, Claridge's across the road. You can email me. You can also Skype call me as well. Now, there's phone numbers, there's direct numbers, there's a Hong Kong number, US number and uh, a, a UK number, of course, as well. Okay. Thank you, Ted. Delighted to have you on board, my friend. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. You should be all excited, whoever is signing up. And I'll tell you why. Could be, well, I want it to be life-altering as trading has been for me. Trading has been life-altering for me. Listen, in 30 days, you're going to find out either you're going to be profitable, have an additional source of income uh, for the rest of your life, or you're going to find out trading's not for you and you'll have saved a lot of time and effort. But one thing I want all my apprentices to do, go on to LinkedIn. How can you independently verify I'm the real deal? Okay, if you go on to LinkedIn, which is free, but uh, 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 connect with me, apprentices, uh, what you will see, okay, um uh margaret no worries at all margaret absolutely no worries at all um uh yes of course margaret it's not an issue okay just email me um now what i want you to do is this what i want you to do you will see the people i'm connected to and what i do and the credentials i have from you know ceos of banks and so on they don't just give you um uh, endorsements because you're a nice guy all right so that's one way of knowing okay this is you know, who the connections are. It's a bit like using blockchain <laughs> on the internet, all right? So anyway, um, but all apprentices, some people, they get it for their kids because they say, I want them to know and I want them to be networked up and connected. Listen, I don't mind. When you go through a 30-day course, you can add me on your CV. Some people do that. I give you a certificate of completion. So they've got it on their CV and they can link to my LinkedIn and they go, yeah, I've finished the course because I can say, yeah, it's finished the course. You don't have to do the course, by the way. You can just download the software if you want and start trading. Like I said, you might download it and start trading DAX tonight, make all the money and the cost of the indicator. Uh, and I know some of you do that and then say, can I have my money back, please? I used the indicator, made the money. Thanks a lot. Well, yeah, it's isn't rational for you to do because then you're stopping yourself making future sums. But anyway, um, there you go. Now, uh, uh, so use LinkedIn. I'll connect you up to anybody that you want to be connected through that. So it helps in terms of career development and so on. But when you log into the mentoring website, what you will also see, okay, on there is I've got uh, 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 the 12 week course. Uh, and you'll see that on there. But also, I have a separate 30-day course, which is all all in there. It's all part and parcel of this. You've got it for life. You don't have to do it in 30 days. You can spend as long as you want on it. As you sign up, let me know. Uh, Terence, you are through, my friend. And so is Sean. Uh, so is Anandi. Uh, Anandi, sorry. Anandi, you are through as well. Is that Anandi or Andy? I think you misspelled Andy, actually. I think you're just Andy. Um, I'm excited that you are in. Uh, I want you to know when you sign up that you're excited. The most we, we measured what's the most likelihood of being successful. It was excitement at the start. People who were the most committed, most energized, were the most likely to succeed. I guess it's the same in all things in life. So what we did is we created these modules, all done by me, all done by me, including quizzes, module reviews, videos because we realize what we need to accelerate people's learning nobody wants to mess around they don't want to get on with it and we realized that there was an optimal amount of time we test for everything we test split test everything there's an optimal size of video length there's tests which are good there's articles which are good so you got module three um four five but we also then go through different strategies pullback strategies breakout strategies uh hyper fast trading um indicators news-based strategies in case people want to do that 
as well. So we made sure we took through people through every single thing. And you've got me for life anyway. And then on the community site, which is this, which is only for apprentices, you've got my latest views. Okay, and you're going to get daily trades. Okay, you'll get the daily updates on here as well, what we like uh, each day. So you can see here today, we were looking at sterling Canadian dollar, uh, that's Canadian dollar yen, and so on and so forth, US dollar, Swiss franc, uh, cable uh, from earlier in the day, obviously. We're now at the end of the day. This was at the start of the day. Okay, and you've got all of that uh, and the trades that we like. So you've got that every single day. All right. So uh, we think that's brilliant. And a monthly update. And it's a community site. So you can also talk to uh, uh, and ask questions and all the rest of it. Let me sum up as you sign up. Um, oh, Jay, yes, you sent me an email about that. Um, uh, you're right. You're absolutely correct, Jay. You, your VAT registered? Um, yes, I did. I thought I emailed you, Jay, but I will. Uh, Ali, I will check if you are in. You should be in because as soon as you pay, uh, I can see there's still a couple more licenses. So as soon as you pay, Ali, it should take you to the download page. Um, Jay, I'll make sure you sh you're up to right. Your VAT registered because you're a business. You don't have VAT. Uh, uh, to pay uh, because you're in the EU. Um, so I'll send you a link for that, Jared. Don't worry um, on that. And I'll do it after this uh, webinar uh, on that. Ali, let me just check that yours has gone through. It should have done. And it should have taken you to the download page with the username and password. I'm going to send all of you, my all of the apprentices who've signed up my uh, through my private email address, uh, your username and logins again as well at the end of this webinar. So you've got direct communication with me on that as well. Okay. And Judy and our team will help install it uh, as well. I have got uh, Ali, you are in my friend. Yes, you are. It's gone. Um, Jer, I'll send that to you after this webinar. I'll send you the link. I thought I did yesterday, but I will send that. I might not have done, actually, uh, but I'll send that. So look, guys, just to sum up, instant download. I'll make sure there's a place reserved on tonight's lot for you, Jer. Okay, so don't worry. It won't block you out. I'll make sure the link I send you is reserved for you. you got the full customer support. Right, because we thought, what makes a billion dollar business? It's got to be full customer support. You've got to be like an Amazon step by step instruction. We've got a team of IT people who install it for you. Got short manual because we thought, why don't we take the training we have in the hedge fund? Remember, a fund is always trying to get more assets under management, a billion under management, or whatever. And if it's any good, it should get verified, audited by you know the pension funds that do it. Okay, so what we thought is, well, wait a minute, why don't we take that technology, take all that we've got, which we think is brilliant and then offer it to a bigger audience what's the biggest thing we could offer it to normally we wouldn't ever offer it to private investors why because private investors unlike a pension fund don't have millions so well how can we do this well hang on google is purely for on running profits videos on all of that 30 day money back guarantee two signed copies signed copies of my two most recent books which you'll keep uh regardless of any just got 50 pounds there anyway it's a trade it's a no it's a risk-free profitable trade cheese customized trading videos uh, as well, lifetime mentoring, part of the trading club, dedicated website, uh, uh, six live webinars each week. I forgot to mention this on Saturdays, 11 a.m. on stop losses, 12 o'clock on entries, one o'clock on limit orders, two o'clock on money management, three o'clock on trading psychology, four o'clock on adding to winners. And if you can't make them, they're recorded. So you can have those. And you got so you got access to me through Skype, email, webinars and in person. OK, I can't do better than that. Uh, not weekly trades, you're going to get the daily trades now, daily trades now, and a monthly newsletter, and like I said, community website. I cannot do more than that. Because what we we're saying is if you're proud of what you're doing, you want to put your name to it, and you're over the moon, then Mr. Patel, if all those things are true, then, uh, Gerald, you don't have to use FXCM. You can use any broker you like. There are brokers which will suggest any other questions. Let me know, people, so I can answer the questions. If there's any questions at all, I see some on the Q&A. Amio, um, been trading five to six years, no fixed trading plan, possible psychological question. Possible... Yeah, Amio, trading psychology is my forte. Okay, what does that equate to in US dollars? Great question. Uh, in US dollars, it's 1,300 US dollars. 1,300 US dollars. Okay, people ask me, I keep forgetting to say that. I might put that down on there, okay? Um, what it is in US dollars. I apologize for not having done that. I'm going to make a note. Um, USD, okay, that we write that down in future. Um, so everyone's got that. 
the reason we wanted to do this, like I said, we think it's an amazing technology. Let's just, well, let's just have a look at the DAX. Actually, forget it. Let me not tell you. There's a saying we have when I was writing my trading diary in each week in the um, Financial Times. They said, show, don't tell. Show, don't tell. Let me just show you. Right? I'm not saying every trade's winning. I already told you. The truth is every trade isn't winning. But we make more when we win because we run with the the the, the trend. Okay, then we lose them when we lose. Now, it's as simple as that. Uh, you can use any broker you want. Uh, you don't have to trade through FX um, through MT4. I'll tell you which brokers I like. Uh, I'll email all of you that information and the ebooks for staying to the end. Okay, any other questions? Let me know. I'm here to answer them. Um, I'm going to check more questions. How much can we make? Uh, uh, Jennifer has asked, "How much can we make?" Great question. How much you make depends on how many signals you follow and how much capital you start off with. It's as simple as that. It's a it's a binary multiplication. Two things. How, how many signals you follow and how much capital you have. That's going to be uh, the predominant thing. How do you long, leave trades on for? Brilliant question, Alec. You know what? Let's, let's, uh, 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 let's look at that. Okay. That was the DAX trade um uh, uh, how long are you going to leave it on for depends on the time frame you're trading if you're trading 30 minute or one hour it's probably going to be one or two days if, and you're gonna have about three or four positions on open at any given time if you're trading 15 minute and for this purpose of this webinar i've been trading 15 minutes because you get more movement in that time frame you can see one signal came on the 26th another one came on the 27th and another one came on the 27th so on a 15 minute bar they tend to come uh once a day on a one hour bar uh they come once a oh let's have a look at the FTSE which is a four hour bar okay they come what's that 11th of September so they come about every three weeks that's why on the whole we don't do four hour and we recommend 30 minute and one hour especially if you've got a day job uh as well Alec but great 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 question great question um I've got a question from uh, uh Danny Question is, I'm just a beginner. Can I use this? Actually, it was geared towards beginners, Danny. Uh, we created it. Because remember, everybody's joining my firm. They're 18 years old, 20 years old. We can't afford somebody who's left Goldman Sachs to come and join us, okay, because we're a small fund. So they tend to be uh, young and fresh and new, and so we have to take them through it. But, of course, if you call it, if you're uh, highly experienced, that's fine as well because we'll get you to more profitability. That's my job. I need to check. Uh, whilst you're all on air, whoa, 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 where's that Apple? Was it Apple? Which one was it? I think it was the Apple trade. I need to check with my assistant that she has. Uh, it wasn't the Apple one. I forgot which one it was. It was something she had to double down in. Does anybody remember which one? Anyway, she'll tell me. Did you double down in it? No, you entered it. You entered it. You had to enter that trade. I think. I said to you, and yeah, she's nodding vigorously and showing me the finger, which is her way of saying, I'm not dopey, Alpesh. Promote me. Yes, the next Naomi, managing a billion, I'm sure. Now, now, any other questions? Has anybody got any other questions at all? I want to answer. I will stay here as long as it takes to answer. Any questions about Brexit, the market, brokers, teachers, tutors, anything at all? Um, Anand has asked me about the Dow. What would you like to know about the Dow, my friend? Did you want me to show you the Dow trade from earlier? Yes, I will do that. This is the Dow, uh, which was still short, as you can see. We had the long trade earlier, and it's short now. You know what I love about computers and using algorithms with multiple indicators, multiple time frames? So using the Pips Predator, this, the Pips Predator, is this. Human psychology is very difficult to go uh, long and then immediately go short in a very short space of time. Okay, very difficult. Instead, um, Yes, there, there's the Dow. Signal for the Dow. Signal was for the Dow. There you go. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, Anand. Yes, it was for the Dow. You're absolutely right. I told her to go short, and that's in the money. Um, there you go. Uh, so thank you very much, Anand. I've, God, you're paying more attention than I am. I love it. Uh, that's what I love about my apprentices. The best, one of the best apprentices I've got at the moment. She's phenomenal. Each week, she will send me an Excel spreadsheet of her trades with entries, exits, profits, losses. And I think last month, she made 7.5% in a month, okay? Um, and in the first couple of months, she just broke even. I th actually, I think in the very first, first month, I think she 
uh, might even have lost a percentage or two. And then second month, you broke even. Third month, boom, she's up there. It might be a month or week, I forget which. Anyway, the point is very diligent. And so when we get apprentices like that, I like to share that with the other apprentices. So the whole point of the community is everybody learns from the best practice of everyone else. So it's not just me you're relying on. It's not just videos. It's not just, you know, it's it's everything all combined, combined. Thank you, Hannah. Uh, there you go. Anyway, listen, guys, I better go because if there's no more questions, and I want to congratulate everybody who signed up uh, on board. Uh, I'm delighted you're on. Uh, it's excellent. Um, and I will, for apprentices, let you know, live apprentices, I'm doing quite a few in October, you know, talks on investment. If you're in Milan in October, let me know. I'm going to give one there, uh, courtesy of the London Stock Exchange, which owns the uh, Borsa Italia. I'm going to talk about this, literally. They've invited me to talk about this uh, uh, and how we trade and how trading happens now, my friends. So, um, you're going to sit, you know, and you'll be able to see me out there. So come along. And after that, I'm going to spend a couple of days in Lake Como. <laughs> if you want to stalk me. Um, India next week, uh, the week, are, uh, and then two weeks later, Italy, back to London, then Singapore, Malaysia, uh, which is more to do with my hedge fund. We've got investors out in Singapore, so I'm going to meet them and so on. Uh, we've actually got an office in Singapore. So anyway, which my business partners manage. If that's all, I am going to leave you to it. Alpsfield.com forward slash here. I'm excited to have my apprentices on. Apprentices, uh, on. I am very excited about the journey you're embarking on because I know from everybody else, okay, um, uh, uh, how exciting it is. Uh, Berich, your transaction went through twice. I'm going to make sure I immediately refund one of those. Uh, okay, I don't know why it went through twice. You might have refreshed the screen. Vicky, Vicky, I'm going to, um, it went through twice, so I'll make sure it's done. Uh, okay, just acknowledge that you heard me on there. Okay, now what I want to do is congratulations, all of you have come on today. Very exciting. Uh, any questions any of you have got? I'm not just here for my apprentices. Any questions any of you have got, please let me know. Okay, I'm going to turn the screen share off. I want to talk to you all in person. Thanks very much. I think we've got a great, exciting journey. One of the things I want to do with this technology, you know, given the profile I've managed and the reputation and the brand that I've got, what I want to do is use that to make it global technology company, float it on the stock market. And I want to give free shares to all apprentices. Now that's subject to lawyers. And that's what I want to do when we float. I want the apprentices to really be risk free. They're going to have shares in the technology of the company. And that's the ambition and the it's keyed in for next year, uh, the float. Okay. And I think we're going to be valued quite heftily. Okay. So I'm really pleased with that as well. Um, those of you who haven't signed up, hey, that's fine. That's cool. Okay, at least you got some great free training. You got to see the inside of what hedge funds do, what some of the leading traders in the world do. Remember, leading traders in the world. Okay, you got to see what leading traders in the world do. Don't buy the book. I'll give you the best bits in this webinar. Uh, uh, with good credentials, FT. Can't do better than that. Okay, the point is you got the inside insights, which you don't normally get into professional trading. Uh, uh, verifiable. Okay, so and you know how technology and trading is moving now. So um, I hope you've all been delighted with it all. I want to thank everybody for being on. I'm just going to close something out here. So thank you all very much for being on this uh, webinar. Thanks, everybody. And like I said, any questions, let me know if you want me to email you anything. Let me know if you're undecided and you want to ask a question and want me to email you. No worries. My pleasure. Okay. Thank you all.